Tony a model. This channel is a not-so-proud member of YouTube's all-encompassing special society of heavily overwhelmed layout enthusiasts. Check any railway show, check any railway club, check any layout, check your own house. You'll find one of us somewhere. Warning, the content of this stream is not suitable for children under the age of 16. The topic, language, themes, attitude, and personality of the presenter is not appropriate for anyone much less children under the age of 16. Topics discussed will not center on trains and will focus on anything except politics. It just happens trains are running. Any similarity between characters, situations, trains, and intelligent thoughts is strictly a coincidence. Any rebroadcast or transmission of the stream without the express written consent of Major League Baseball is strictly prohibited. Viewer discretion is advised. Remember the three rules for model train layouts and pretty much anything. It's your layout. Do what you want as you want. Do not tell someone else what to do unless they ask you directly what they should do. Do not call out, mock, criticize, or insult another channel on your channel or anyone else's channel. Thank you for your cooperation. And see it. You'll love it. And it's all done in the best possible way. <laughs> Hey everybody, happy Friday. How are all you Knights of the Rhomboid table on the other side of the screen? Great to have you all here. Um, wow, uh, what a long week. So let's just uh, go into greetings and welcome all the Knights who have uh, shown themselves here. Uh, Sir Mick, the royal bartender, has in fact opened the bar. So we have Sir Andy81E. I was just watching your video before we went live. Uh, we have Sir Anthony from Middleport Junction. We have Sir Andy, the hot dog pilot. Sir John of Benicki. Sir Joseph of Agliato, the sergeant at arms. We've got Sir Dwight of Kelsey. We have Sir Mick, the aforementioned Sir Mick. We have Sir Dino, the model railway shed, who got up a video and had some stuff uh, new today. Uh, we've got Sir Peter of Jackson Cheadle Heath. We've got Sir Ray Ron and the CEO of the Knights of the Rhomboid Table, Sir Tim of Dowd. We've got Sir Chris of Valleys. We've got Sir Eric and Sir Wilhelm of uh, Von Don Eisenbahn. And we've got Sir Paul from Wolfsack Scenix. So that's everybody that's on my list. I saw Monsville. Lord Monsville was here earlier. 
Um, and that's it. So let me switch this over to somebody just popped in. Ah, we had two. Sir Ben of Eagle Creek is here. Uh, some great work earlier this week. I think it was you posted a video with some new work and stuff going on because you had to move your table for the door. Uh, Sir Ifo Fonsan, one of the Royal Librarians, is here. Or wizards, whatever you want to call these mystical men of deep knowledge beyond that of the ordinary human soul. Okay, is that it? Let me switch this up. And I can see who's actually chatting and what the chat is saying. Okay, so um, as you all know, uh, I have been... Well, yesterday for a little bit, and Wednesday evening for a little bit, and today I have finally uh, been able to watch some videos on YouTube because I've been building a deck. Actually, I could have been out there doing some work today, but I didn't. It, it started off rainy, but it cleared up and was sunny through the late afternoon, and by that time I was thinking I got to start setting up uh, the live stream and just... I did go out there and do a little routering work, but... Um, that was it. But I'm, I'm in the process of remodeling a deck. I didn't have to completely rebuild it. The substructure, if you paid attention in videos one and two, I built that 20 years ago and it is still rock hard. It is, um, I did great work um, in that regard. Uh, when it comes to model trains, I won't uh, toot my horn or I'll be humble. But when it comes to wood uh, construction and home renovation, um, I, I, I'm very proficient. I, I have some skills. I'm not a master of anything, um, but I can do all the basics. And uh, so building a deck isn't a major challenge for me. Um, the We bought this new wood product, or, or newer to us, because it wasn't around when we did it a couple of years ago, uh, by a company called AC2. Um, it's called Cedar Tone, where it's western pine, but it's dyed to look like cedar. And we just liked it. It's already kind of already stained, so we didn't have to do a lot of work. We just seal it or add a tint, slight tinted stain over it. Um, and Joyce will tell you, if I get started on a project, I'll work from sun up to sundown and just bulldoze ahead. Um, and unfortunately, my body doesn't... <laughs> refresh like it used to i am 60 so unfortunately i don't uh i don't uh rebound as quick as i did even 11 years ago when i last built this deck so but yeah you know, that's what's going on uh so i know i've seen a f few random videos that i'll watch before i fall asleep but i've had nights where um i crawl into bed at 10 11 o'clock and Joyce is still finishing getting ready, and by the time she comes to bed, I'm out cold. <laughs> and uh, so, hey, Sir Brian Finn is here of Finnerton Central. Nice to have you. Sir Andrew from March West Junction is here. Great to have you guys. But I appreciate those of you that have been watching the videos. It, it's not a surprise. The first video got a few views, and then each video gets fewer views. Like, okay, he's just not talking trains right now, and all right, he built a damn deck. Who gives a shit? Uh, but that's where uh, that's where I have been for the last two weeks because I started demoing, and I'll tell you I feel completely cut off from uh, my world because not only have I spent even less time down here because I've had Kyan over, but Kyan has not wanted to come down and run trains. Um, he has wanted to do other things, and he's got other interests right now, and um, so we haven't come down here to run trains and. Um, I started demo and that took a week because I had to get all the boards out, but then any broken or rotted screws I had to slowly work out. Then I had to go through and putty all the holes uh, from the screws and then paint over the top uh, to seal them all up and uh, make them ready for the next row of boards. So that, that took a lot of time. Uh, so yeah, it's been crazy. But uh, I just hope everybody's been well. I know a couple of... Uh, Friends on the other side of the camera have not been doing well. <laughs> hey, you're getting ideas for your deck. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm i a little old school because, um, you know, I don't stay in the trade. And there's a time where I would watch the DIY channel when the DIY channel actually showed true do-it-yourself work to see if there were new tricks coming up. But now the DIY is all about real estate sales and flipping. And flipping is not about, 
even though flipping a house is DIY related, um, flipping a house is really about cutting corners everywhere you can to sell the house, make, you know, throwing lipstick on the pig and selling it quickly and getting out with your cash. Minimal, minimal investment, maximum profit. And that's the goal of house flipping, especially these idiot shows that have been on the do-it-yourself network, the DIY network and the home and garden network, as it used to be called. Um, hello, did we see? Ah, Feldbond and Schmalspur und International. Hello, welcome in. Yeah, I don't know. Kyan still likes to watch trains. Like when he came over yesterday morning, I was watching, I think was, um, it was Goatland. Um, Goldland, um vid newest video. I was watching that, and Kyan wanted to watch it. When it was over, he wanted to watch it again. So I don't think he's lost the train bug. Um, messing with my layout because he's not allowed to do some things he used to be allowed to do. When he was two and this tall, I could stand him on this table and let him watch the trains, or I'd stand him on top of this table in the middle where I'm putting the Fowler car. And uh, he loved that. And now he wants to do it, and I'll say no, and he's like, all right, well, let's go upstairs. I don't want him, you know, um, but we're doing that. YouTube has been your DIY. And, and yeah, you don't want to cut corners. You really do not want to cut corners. Um, and I will spend what I consider appropriate money. Um, one of the nice things about a DIY project is if I haven't done a major renovation in a while i discover i'm out of step with tools and it's like model trains i i get to go buy a couple of new tools to add to my collection um and um i bought this camo thing which is this great decking and that was a 50 dollars investment well worth it the screws are more expensive there's less screw but they're more expensive because they're tailor made to fit the machine but that's been really cool i really like that that's allowed me to um really create a clean finish on the deck so you don't have the two screw holes and you're not worried about trying to line them up perfectly down the joist but yeah so the videos are there i haven't bought any trains uh, nothing has come out that i've been very interested in and i had one train come in and i had to send it back because it wasn't working so there's that Oh, Kyan, Kyan loves to train videos. He's quite happy. Um, uh, if I throw on um, uh, Pilentum videos, which are so well produced, if you don't know Pilentum, they basically focus on European trains, but they'll do American and, um, but they just go around and film layouts. And they'll, they'll have like 80 different videos of Miniature Wonderland, but they won't tell you it's Miniature Wonderland except for a little blurb at the bottom. And you're like, wow, that looks just like Venture Wonderland. And then you read the blurb in their uh, description section. It's like, so anyhow, um, that's been it. I've been working. Uh, I've got to run out after the live stream today. I'm going to replace a router. I have an old router and I was using it today. And this gives me the excuse to get a new one. The old one is working, but it's not working the way it used to. So this gives me an excuse to go get a new one. And Joyce is already cool with it. <laughs> Uh, I have to go get a new uh, a router bit because I was talking to Ray Bertelson, who helps Tammy and uh, Ray on their channel a lot. Uh, and he was talking about routering. And I'd say, oh, my God, yeah, routering. I, I was trying to cut these ends, and that's what I did the last time I built the deck. I used my router with a straight blade. Problem is my straight blade has blunted a bit, and um, it's an inch, and I now need an inch and a quarter long blade. So I got to get a straight blade for my router. And while I'm at it, I'll just get a new router. <laughs> Joyce has already approved that purchase. So we're all good. Yay. What brand is my go-to? Uh, I grew up a Black & Decker guy, so a lot of my tools are Black & Decker. The problem is all the main stores don't carry Black & Decker anymore because Black & Decker is now owned by Stanley or, you know, one company owns Black & Decker, Stanley, and two other old name companies. Um, and many people are saying the quality has gone down. Um, I don't know that I see it, but I, I if I can get Black & Decker. But right now, I all my newest heavy duty, like my new reciprocating saw, sawzall as some people call it, uh, my newest um, jigsaw, 
and uh, my newest sander are all Bosch. Um, I've been buying a lot of Bosch lately. Uh, so those, those, and I don't have an issue against DeWalt. I've got a couple little things that are DeWalt, but all my drivers, batter, you know, battery powered, 20 volt lithium or Black & Decker, my primary circular saw, my uh, smaller five and a half inch uh, quick zip circular saw, uh, trim saw, um, 20 volt is um, Black & Decker. Uh, so I'm for for you know motorized tools, uh, power tools. I tend to be Black and Decker. Um, so, I, but I don't I don't want to say I'm brand loyal. It's just that, for example, with my Black and Decker, I've got all these 20 volt batteries. So why go buy a new Bosch battery operated one when I've already got all kinds of batteries for my Black and Decker? And I can just trade the batteries. You know, it just makes it easier to circulate my batteries because I got like seven two amp 20 volt um, batteries. So it makes it just easy to have all the batteries out there and uh, zip the tools along. I need to get the blue, black, and Decker, not the green ones. I get the red ones. But uh, anyhow, so let's go to the trains and let's get the trains running. A uh, little bit of interest running them in, but they finally seem to level out and smooth out. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm running, uh, I'm running some ICs, some ECs today. Uh, I've got the German one uh, going here. So we've got the ICE um, one, the German Deutsche Bahn there with the white and red, and it's being pulled by a Class 101 locomotive. And then this guy hasn't run in a little while. So this is the um, uh, Czech IC with a Class 371 locomotive going. Um, and then I have my Austrian. I know I ran my Austrian recently, but um, I thought I'd run them again. This time with the uh, Taurus, uh, with the Austrian motor tourist club um livery on it and then freight for the people who love freight i've got this little deutsche bahn guy this guy's been a little problematic because uh it's been uncoupling but i finally seem to switch a couple of cars around and that seemed to stop it knock on wood and then um whoop, over 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 where we are where are we here it is. And then um, just for the steam guys, I've put up a steam locomotive here. Slow down there, Tex. Not too fast. Slow them down a bit more. Uh, the Class BR-50 and those Era 3-4 Express trains. And then finally, in the background, we'll be running a Class 648 dude right there. And then on the floor, we are running, and let me just go to the floor cam real quick. We're running Mallard. The A4 Mallard, and I just threw the Beetle Wagons on it just to be silly. And then I'm running that wonderful uh, Inner City Swallow Livery HST that I picked up from Brian Finn. Thank you, Brian. Can I turn the sounds on? Um, yes, I can. At least the ones that have it. Unfortunately, my steamer does not have sound. So you'll hear electric and diesel here. Should probably turn the sound on that Class 371. That would really drive people crazy. 
Yeah, the uh, steamer doesn't have sound. Hey, Sir Randall of Ellison is here. So I hope you heard that. Uh, the steamers always put up the best sound, even though I'm not really, quote, a steamer guy. I think steamers just put out the... Yeah, probably, Evo, but I wasn't worried about it. I didn't want to get the Christmas train out again. And uh, it was either that one or one of the Ryan Golds, and I elected for that one. Well, the nice thing about that Cheska Drahi, that uh, Class 371 is, that is a train Joyce and I rode from uh, Dresden, Germany to Prague in the Czech Republic. We rode one of these. It actually started in Hamburg, and uh, but we picked it up in Dresden because we're already in Dresden, and uh, it went on to Prague, and it was pulled by a 371. It had an eight-car consist as set up here. Hey, Sir Clive, how are you? So I don't know how well you're hearing the sounds of those guys. Well, that's good. Oh, you haven't seen that 101? It's been a little while since I run them, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's celebrating a... Um, I just love the livery, and I thought it looked great with the ICs. I've run it with other trains at times. I've even run it with the Czech um, cars because I've seen it pulling Czech cars when I've been over on that part of Germany and uh, Czech Republic. But anyhow, it's, uh, yeah, it's from an exhibition at the Deutsche Bahn Museum uh, in Nuremberg, the German Federal Rail Museum in Nuremberg. Now, there are several Deutsche Bahn museums uh, but the one in Nuremberg was having an exhibition and they, um, so they had this livery put on to advertise that. So yeah, it's one of my favorites in terms of livery. Uh, it's also a very good runner. Some idiots had to be rescued from the Zugspitze. I've been on the Zugspitze uh, many times. And I have been on the Zugspitze where I've been in t-shirt. And I've been in the Zugspitze where I've been bundled. But I always had the warm clothes just in case. Because I've also been on the Zugspitze where the sun's out and you take off your coat. Because it's hot. And then the minute clouds come in, you're freezing and you put your coats on. But yeah, you always got to have those backup clothes uh, if you're on the Zugspitze. Because even if it gets warm, the sun could go behind the clouds and you are 10,000 feet up. It's colder up there. But yes, we have been up there where the sun was shining and it was hot. We are having snowball fights wearing t-shirts. My students loved it. And they would ask me, Mr. Dodge, can we take off our hoodies? It's hot up here. I said, yeah, just keep them handy because you could get cold real fast. But we were all in t-shirts having a snowball fight at the top of the Zugspitze. We took the train up and then came out of the tunnel. They, the trains would go up to the end of the ice tunnel, so we never walked the one ice tunnel. We always took the train all the way up. We didn't hike up. We always took the train up, the riffle wrists, and then we took the uh, the old ski car down. I have not been to the Zugspitze since 2012, so it's been 12 years since I've been there. 
Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah, the last time I was on the Zugspitze was 2012. Hey, Sir Andrew, how are you? Sir Andrew Shortbread, the Royal Baker. No, unfortunately, Feldbahn, I do not have Dutch. That will hopefully change someday. I could change any day. But uh, right now, I don't have Dutch. I've, I've only spent a, a day in the Netherlands. I was in the town of Groningen. And I, Joyce and I and my students spent the day in Groningen and then went back to the city of Delmenhorst. Um, I've been in Amsterdam airport many times, <laughs> but I don't count that as being in the Netherlands. Although I will say, just to have some fun, um, here you'll get a close-up of that wonderful little livery on the 101. Um, uh, the Dutch security at Schiphol airport are the funniest and coolest and nicest security people of any airport I've, I've been at. They are, they've got a sense of humor and you better be ready for it at time. But, um, Joyce and I are hoping to spend some time in the Netherlands in 2025. A year from now, we will be getting ready to go. We're going to be in Aachen, Germany, and we may even change some of the plans we're planning on 2025 so we could spend, we want to spend a little time in France and a little time in Holland. Uh, we're going to go to Maastricht while we're in Aachen. Because we're planning on spending a week in Aachen, so we're going to go up to Maastricht. And um, we're just trying to find some other things. We're going to go over to Belgium. Brussels is only a couple hours away from Aachen. Liège is um, not far, like an hour, hour and a half. So we're excited because we're going to go into Belgium. But uh, we're not going to make it down to Luxembourg City, which was a hope. But we would really like to get into Holland. We actually, one of these days, want to spend a couple of days in Amsterdam. And then once we ride the trains, we will... Um... <laughs> Got to turn off the engines. It's getting... Brussels has a nice train museum. All right, we will keep that in mind. Now, Tim, you asked, how many subs do I have? Uh, my Navy's very small. I only got a couple of destroyers, so no subs. In fact, the Knights of the Rhomboid Table don't even have an official Navy. We've got, a, we've got an official Air Force. We've got a Royal Air Force headed by Andy the Hot Dog Pilot, but we don't have a Navy. But if you're talking subs on YouTube... I am at 1,906 when I checked yesterday. Uh, I have 1,906. So that, when I was setting up the live stream, um, yeah, I'm less, I'm now in a double digit countdown to 2,000. And. I will admit I'm a little excited that I might get to 2,000. Never, never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd break 1,000. And, of course, I did that. And now I'm actually closing in on 2,000. I think I even made a joke when I had about 500 subs that if I ever got up to 2,000 subs, I would have to end the channel because it would mean... But, no, I don't think I'll do that. Hello, Ken from Toronto. I think most people here are subs. But as I always say, sub, the number of subs is a um, is a deceptive number. 
There are people who have 500 subs, but every video they put out gets 500 views and 150 likes and blah, blah, blah. Or you can be like me who has 1,900 subs, but most of my videos get 200 to 300 views and get about 30 likes. So, you know, it's about, it's about quality or I don't know. Quality is not the right word. I mean, I don't think I do... I think my pun songs are quality. I think the Matt Clark stuff is quality. I don't think any... I think my trains are quality. It has nothing to do with me. My layout is not um, anything to put in a museum. But it, it's not a competition. My layout, my trains make me happy. They Someday I'll work on my layout again. <laughs> You're a type <laughs> U-boat. <laughs> Well, that's it. Well, Chris, you can be our Royal Navy. <laughs> best best YouTube live stream. Well, maybe. I, I would never... I would never say that. I mean, because there are live streams I find more interesting than mine. But I enjoy doing my live streams. This is... This is why everything else in my YouTube world has changed uh, because I started doing the live streams and all of a sudden, you know, and this is the numbers that matter to me, the number of people who come in and chat on my live stream. You people that are true officials of the Knights of the Rhomboid Table who take that banner and have a laugh with it, uh, you're, you're, the, you're the greatest. But... Um, and that's what makes any live stream great. It's not necessarily the host, it's the people. Because you can go on to some live streams and so much is going on, it's hard to keep up, but your three or four buds are in that live stream with you and you can just yak with them. Hey, Sir Dave from Scott's Rail is here. Welcome in. You're bent out of shape. That's about all the boards I've been dealing with this week. Oh my God, that was the crappiest lumber delivery. That, I guess this is what happens when, because I had no way of getting 50, 16 foot boards home. I had no way. <laughs> I could, I suppose, like when we got the, um, when Joyce and I did the deck in 2013, we rented a U-Haul and we went out and I picked all the cedar boards myself. But I just did not, want to do that i did not want to go through 50 boards okay this one looks good this one and plus the producers we bought the cedar from they really are you know they make sure that wood is dimensional and the stuff we bought is highly rated but wow they we had boards that were like this where it's like they you know they put them through what's called a planer which is supposed to get down all the rough edges and get them close to dimensional. And, but we had boards that were just, one side was straight and the other side just had bumps and, well, we always called bruises. We always called them bruises, bumps and bruises. And uh, so if you're looking at the lumber vertically, you're coming down and then there's just a wide bit here. It's not that the board is bent. It's just like they've got this bump here that they didn't chop off. And, it's, and there's not a knot there. It's just the blade skipped or the blade had a broken tooth or the blade was losing its edge or the blade was a little off. And, and man, we just had a bunch of those this week. It was frustrating. I was so, so, so not happy. But I could have sent it all back, but what are the odds I'm going to get better? So I made do. Uh, the theme of the trains is I'm running what are called ICs, inner cities, and express trains. And then I put a freight out because I try to put a freight out so the people that really are into freight aren't totally left out. And then down on the floor, I'm running my... Um, Andy, I have never missed a Friday since I moved my live stream into Fridays in August of 2020. I have never missed a Friday. 
Even when I've been overseas, I have come on live, even if only for an hour and 90 minutes, but I have live streamed originally at 3.30 my time, 8 p.m. UK time, 9 p.m. Western European, well, technically Central European time. Uh, but I have always been on Friday. I have not missed a Friday ever. Oh, John Benicki's got to go. All right, John, thanks for popping in. Always great to see you. Hey, Sir Raymond of Legs is here today. And Raymond is uh, promoting some other channels there, which is all good. The thing is, I actually ordered from Menards, the American chain Menards. I don't like Menards, but they had this stuff and I got it from their supplier. But wow, not... I got it in, it looks good. But um, there was some fighting. It took me anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes per board. Easily. Sometimes longer. There, I, I know there was one case where I spent... I looked at the clock. It was uh, 11 o'clock. I was like, okay, in an hour, hour or so, I'll take a lunch break. And I looked at 12.15 and I realized I'd not even finished two boards in that hour. Because I was fighting to get them in, and um, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> you plan your work roster. Wow, now now I feel like I have to do something special when people are doing it. But you know, the thing is, I get people, and some people come in and say this is their favorite live stream. And then they find other people's live streams, and then I'm not necessarily the favorite live stream anymore, which I don't worry about. It's You can love them all. I'm thrilled. I'm just thrilled with the people who come. The people who come to this live stream and hang out, and I've got a core group of people that have been doing it for four years. Leslie Gilpin, Tim Dowd, they've been here since the beginning. Christopher's Hobby Blog. They've all been here since I started streaming. It's, it's amazing to go back to my first stream four years ago and see how many of those people are still here. Now, I could be a negative, I could be a depressive, and, you know, say how many of those people don't show up anymore. <laughs> but I dwell on the positive. The people that come in and hang out, and there are some people that come and they hang for two, three months, and then they're gone. It's it's over. Oops, nobody there. Nobody there. Let's go to the other side. There we go. It's midnight in Tokyo, and you're watching. Midnight in Tokyo, why aren't you out hitting? Oh, I forget what they call the uh, the big uh, red light district of Tokyo. Or the entertainment district. I shouldn't say red light district. But that HST, which I shall name the Sir Brian Finn. I'm just gonna name it the Sir Brian Finn. I bought it from him. I've been wanting one of these for a while. He sold it very, very inexpensively. Hey, Sir Tom, speaking of somebody that's been part of this for a long time. Sir Tom Couples is Always been a friend of the channel and a huge supporter with everything we do. That HST, you could get dizzy watching it go round and round. Yeah, actually, he's got one. Brian, 
Brian, on your channel, uh, on your on your train set site, you've got a Buffett car, don't you? Would that go with this? The Shinjuku, that's it. On your on your um on your page, you've got an inner city Buffett car. Would that go with this? Hey, Sir Jason the Train Freak is here. You've got a swallow, um, swallow livery buffet, as you guys say, or in English we say buffet. And you actually have a couple of other swallow livery coaches. So I can't, they, they don't say first or second class, but I guess I don't care about that. Because, yeah, I, I am very tempted to buy that. I just... I've spent so much money on this deck. I think Joyce's uh, Joyce's Scottish nature is uh, clicking in. <laughs> She's starting to count the pennies spent. Oh, Anthony, you spent too much money, my son. First, they have the yellow brand. Yeah, I know. I. Because that's true even in Germany and the European companies I know. First class is always that yellow or gold stripe. Man, Raymond, how many channels are you putting up today? This, I think you've already hit your normal... Uh, Dominic Schoen's got a good channel. And I think I've seen Janosik. Um, but... I'd like to have a horse to give to Joyce. If we could afford a place to store a horse, Joyce would love a horse. That's her one, I think, sacrifice for... Uh, you know, Joyce and I always talk about things that our chosen lifestyle and where we live prevented us from having. There's a couple of things I always point out. And with hers, it was a horse. She would, Joyce would, would kill to have a pet horse. I mean, technically, if I took out my um, investment account from my retirement, if I took that out, which basically I just set it up as an investment portfolio for my kids when I die, but if I decide to screw my kids' inheritance, I could take that money, buy Joyce a horse, and buy it for years and years down the road a place to keep it, you know, a rental place to rent it and take care of it. But she's happy enough. You know, a couple of times a year, we'll go off and let her go horseback riding. Hello, Dominic Z. How are you? Uh-oh, jousting poles. We're getting in trouble there. Is there a quota? Is there a quota for how many I comment on? Um, I'm not subscri I'm subscribed to about 400 channels of which about a hundred rarely post. But when I can, for example, the last two weeks, I can't. My thing is if I'm subscribed to somebody and they post a video, I comment on it. So I comment. I comment on every channel I'm subscribed to. I comment on their videos except for about 100 channels. 
In one, in two case, well, let me let me try that again. In three cases, I'm subscribed to a channel where they put up so many videos a day, and that's not a complaint. I just can't keep up with commenting on all of them. So usually I'll comment on one a day or one every other day. Hey, Sir Leslie is here. Hello, Sir Leslie. Great to have you all here. Yeah, the board bistros are uh, gone. They've replaced them with something, but um, although the one on the IC here, I think don't they still do it? But maybe not. Maybe it's now just a... James got his knuckle... There is, as far as I know, there's no quota. There, There is no quota for commenting that goes against everything of YouTube's whole interactions if anything somebody com somebody red flagged it and complained because that's what happens we always say ah oh, youtube this and youtube that no it's somebody on youtube red flagged something just to be a douche just to be a french shower or even a german shower Oh, the Battle Force 5 Saber. Okay. 500 comments in a day? Huh. I certainly am not aware of that. I don't know if I've done 500 comments in a day, but I think I've probably come close. And YouTube has other ways to catch the bots. You're going on the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Osaka. Well, that's just cool. Ah, oh, cool, Brian. I will uh, talk myself into buying that when Joyce isn't looking. <laughs> like, like, like she wouldn't look. Honey, what's this purchase to England? Um, um, uh, that was some special drill bits I needed, honey. <laughs> I can't hide anything. Joyce is the banker of the family. Everything in our family is shared. Our money's in the same account. We, it's been our money since the day we got married, if not before. The Diora 2 that is decked out in Teku livery. Huh. Now, see, that I'm not familiar with. Oh, that's just weird. But again, nine times out of ten, it's not even YouTube. It is somebody red flags. But I stopped paying attention to YouTube algorithms a long time ago because A, they're wrong. <laughs> and B, everybody who thinks they know YouTube algorithms, including the YouTube algorithm people, are wrong. And I hate to sound like a know-it-all, but now that's the funny thing, Jason. See, Joyce and I 
at the risk of being weird, Joyce and I have kind of role reversal. I'm the shopper. I'm the money spender. She's Scottish. She's half Scottish, half German. And, oh, she, she does not like to spend money. She does not like spending money. The worst thing to do is go shopping with her because she wants it over and done and she wants to get one thing and get out quickly before anybody sees her actually in a store. Oh, okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not familiar with accelerations. It's something I'd have to look up. But uh, Joyce is half, her parents are both half German. And then Scottish on both sides a bit with some Irish on both sides. But um, yeah, Joyce has Irish and Scottish. So really she's like 25% Irish and 25% Scottish and then 50% German in her heritage. But the Scottish side, she is, she's just, She's a penny pincher. She, she, and part of it was, uh, I was a young, when we got married, I had just started as a teacher and she was still in college. Uh, I wasn't being paid a lot of money and we were paying for school. I had some debts and money was very, very like many people, money was very, very tight. And then around the time where suddenly money wasn't getting tight, about 15 years into our marriage, um, our the company we worked for, the school district we worked for, went bankrupt and cut our pay massively. And uh, we went right back to... Well, we almost lost, that's why I had to sell my, my classic charger. And if you guys who know I had a 73 Dodge Charger, I had to sell it because it was either sell the charger or not pay bills and lose the house. And so I had to sell my charger off. And um, so it was just one of those bum luck things. But the bright side is we... The last five years, we got that money back. We got our pay raises that took us back to the old pay level we should have been on. And that allowed me, I had to work an additional five years, but that allowed me to be able to retire with benefits I thought I should have been able to retire with at 30 years. But, uh, so I went 36 years and I, I got a good retirement benefit. So in the end, it works out. Oh, the RZD did uh, Berlin to Moscow with a Talgo sleeper. I'm sorry. I just think the Talgos are ugly. I hate to say that or be mean. It's just one of the ones I just think are ugly. Plymouth Roadrunner, Dodge Challenger. Well, that's not true because there are Roadrunners before the... There, there are many different cars... See, if you say Roadrunner, Plymouth Roadrunner, most people think of one Plymouth Roadrunner. But they had other uh, models of cars that were also nicknamed the Roadrunner before the classic Roadrunner, which was basically um, the Plymouth version of the Dodge Challenger. The Talgos in Washington State are certainly weird. I think they all look weird. Hey, did I see Sir Dave of Kiwi is here? And... The Dodge Charger Daytona and the Superbird. Now, the Charger Daytona, um, you have to modify it a bit, and then it becomes the Super B. And then the Plymouth... Um, Superbird was a Plymouth, the original Plymouth Roadrunner modified the same way and became the Superbird. So you had the Plymouth, um, you had the Dodge Charger Daytona modified to become the Super B, and then you had the Dodge, uh, or the Plymouth, um, Roadrunner 
which eventually became known as the Plymouth Satellite, and then they renamed the Roadrunner to the um, the pony car, the uh, small muscle car. Let's see, 68, see, actually the 68, the 69, and the 70 Charger are the same body with just certain, with just basic modifications to the front grille and the rear, the tail light array. But basically they're the same car. It's called the E-Frame. Um, they really didn't change much on the body unless you bought specifically an RT or a 500 that had a couple of other modifications, both in, um, transmission, suspension, and engine, as well as some little modifications on the physical, on the body. They have the Art Deco Cadillac style. And Raymond, you know it's always going to be, um, it's subjective, okay? One person's beauty is another person's ugly, you know? Um, everybody has their taste, so I certainly don't judge people. I, I just happen to throw my opinion out there. I just, for whatever reason, I find the towel goes rather unattractive. But there's also these classic um, French locomotives and even the Dutch 1600 that I don't find particularly attractive. Um, and they're classics and people love them, which is awesome. And even like my class uh, 218s, I don't love the class 218s. I have a few 218s because they're a common German locomotive. But I don't, I don't look at them and go, wow, that's a sexy locomotive. I don't know that I find any locomotive particularly sexy. I, am, I do like the Taurus, the E64 shapes. Um, I'm used to the, basically the tracks and tracks two shapes. And then sometimes a livery can make all the difference. Like the, the UK, the Class 37, which is the iconic diesel, I think, in the UK. Um, there are some Class 37s that are just absolutely... Um, where I think the 37 looks stunning, and then there are other ones where it just looks like a tired old wreck. And I'm not talking the shape of it. I'm just saying the livery is just so bland and not for it. But, boy, you get a Class 37 in, in that old... Now it's ROG, but it was the Euro Phoenix. That Euro Phoenix livery. I love the Euro Phoenix liveries on the Class 37s. Hello, Sir Andy T741. Welcome to the Ron Boyd table. I'm sub to a lot of people because they are so nice to me on my channel that even if they don't have content, I'm sub. I really need to sub to more. Like, I recently subbed to Rayron, but I haven't started commenting on videos yet. I haven't started commenting. I recently subbed to Rayron. I've watched some of the videos, but I just... Literally about three days after I subscribed to Rayron is when I started the deck. And Rayron has been around... He's got an awesome channel, beautiful trains, lots of cool videos, and he's been he's been a friendly, nice guy. I've I've talked to him live on Artie streams many, many times. Ray Ron here, um, just fantastic channel. And I thought I had subscribed to him a long time ago, but apparently I had not. Okay, Dominic, uh, new upcoming Hot Wheels Taurus animations um, but um, the thing is I don't want people to ever think this is how I judge other people it's how it's how I judge me um, when I'm subscribed to a channel it's because I like what you do and even if you've got a thousand people who will post a comment to say, love this, I will be a thousand and one. Because 
You took the time to make the video. I took the time to watch the video. And I don't care about YouTube algorithms. I just like to say thanks to the people that took the time to make a video. Now, if you're like, hey, I don't watch a lot of channels. I don't comment on every video. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just how I am. It, it's just I'm like that. I feel the need to thank people for doing that. You, um, you need to come with me when I go to stores and restaurants. I thank everybody that's working at the store because they don't get thanked enough. They get yelled at. They get treated like crap by customers. And sometimes they go, oh, well, the people that work at that store are grumpy. That's because you're grumpy, okay? You know, they're human. They can have bad days. Um, and they have to put up with you on their bad day. And it comes also from my years of being an educator, of being a teacher, is I don't know what my students are going through at home. You try to find out, you try to understand where they're coming from, and sometimes I'm going to be the only friendly face those kids were going to see all day. And it's not because the other teachers were mean, but it's because these kids will maybe go and hide in a part of a room and hide behind kids. And I don't want to say I didn't let kids hide, but I didn't let kids hide. If a kid tried to hide, I would try to find what joke, find what thing would get a smile out of them and then see if I could get them a little bit out of that shell so that they would feel I can be myself in this class. They saw me act like a complete knucklehead and fool so many times that they would feel free to fly their freak flag or, you know, be relaxed, but you just don't know what that kid is going through. And the same thing with the workers at stores and restaurants. So Joyce and I are always very friendly. We thank everybody. Thank you. You know, um, the cable guy comes out and works at something. Like the guy that delivered the garbage dumpster, the, the dumpster to my driveway. Now, I'm in panic mode. I'm in panic mode because here comes this big, heavy dumpster, and he's putting it on my brand new driveway. And my driveway started cracking when they put the addition on my house because of the weight of all the dumpsters. So here's my first time I'm getting a garbage scow, a garbage dumpster on my driveway. This guy pulls it in. He set that uh, 12 cubic foot dumpster down on my driveway. You didn't hear a sound. He set that down like a baby in a crib. And I was so like, whoa, dude, that was amazing. Hey, I've been doing it for 27 years. I was like, yes, but thank you. He's like, you don't have to thank me. It's my job. I said, I don't care. You're doing me a favor. Yes, I'm paying you for it, but it saves me. Thank you for what you're doing. And when they come and haul it away, hey, thank you for doing me a favor. Thank you for helping me out. I came to you. You helped me out. Yes, I'm paying you for it, but thank you anyhow. And that's how I am. Oh, you're working on the VW Beetle, which, uh, the Snow Witch Bunny. So, Anthony from Middleport was still here. It, he's taking off. Oh, okay. Take care, Anthony, Middleport Junction. Thank you for hanging out. And, you know, thumbs up are great, too. Um... But I prefer comments. In all honesty, I prefer comments. Because comments took more time. And, um, and a thumbs up is great, but a comment that says, I like what you did or this was cool, always, always goes into the heart more. Now, granted, anybody who puts up videos, you, you can't help but compare numbers and look, hey, this video got 50 likes and this video got 30. I've got a video that got 30 thumbs up and 70 comments. And another video got 50 thumbs up and 10 comments. Well, you know, YouTube algorithms, interactions. But I, 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 I personally like comments more. It's the next best thing to actually having somebody next to you saying it. But yeah, if uh, one video gets 30 thumbs up and another gets 50 with roughly the same number of views, you like that as well. Hey, 
there's my buddy Christopher. We got to hook up again after we missed each other last uh, Wednesday. Nice to have you here. Sir Christopher of Hobby Blogs. Oh, I do too, Scott. Or, I, I'm sorry, David of Scott's Rail. I do too. I, I thank them. I wave. Give them a thumbs up. They're doing a job, and we may not like the job they're doing. They might be in our way because we're running late. It's not their fault we're running late. We're running late. Um, and they're just trying to do their job. And uh, it just gets, you know, it doesn't cost you a dime to be nice to people, even if they're not necessarily being nice to you. Now, in certain situations, I'll change that, where that person needs to be nice, but post office i'm always nice to the people in the post office all they're doing is doing me a favor i'd have to get in my car and drive that letter 600 miles they're doing me a favor so yes i had to pay a buck 20 or buck 30 or whatever it is on a stamp i don't care it'd be a lot cheaper i don't worry about that jason i never think about it if i get a reply i look at the reply and it might prompt a new comment. And if I don't get a reply, that's all right. Because I don't expect a comment back. I'm not, I'm not even, I hope this sounds right. I'm not even looking for a comment back. It's nice if I get one. But I, I have no expectations from other people. I just have expectations of myself. I will reply to every comment I'm given. And I will comment on every video I watch. And some people probably get sick of it. Like, I mean, poor Leslie, you know. That was great, Leslie. I love the mix of trains today. <laughs> that was great, Leslie. You had a really good mix of trains. I really like the pride train this time. Leslie knows if the pride train, <laughs> if the if the GWR pride, or is it the Avanti pride, uh, goes through. I'm like, yeah, I love that train. Or if he gets a, if he gets a pride and a trans pennine and the royal mail train, he knows I'm going to give him a letter. Um, and he's just like, yep, there's Dodge. Thank you, Anthony. You know. <laughs> hey, Kieran's here. Speaking of guys that have been here since the beginning. Sir Kieran of J94. And Sir Kyle Stevens is here. Nice to have you here. And the thing is, you know, uh, let's go to that big channel from the UK, Everard Junction, for example. He says he doesn't reply to most comments. He doesn't have time to reply because he gets a thousand comments per video. And YouTube is not his job. It's his hobby. So now he will respond to certain channels pretty much all the time. But I've gotten dozens. Of, there was a time where we talked on almost every one of his videos because we share another passion, which is cars. He's into, he was working on a, a little bit of a little hot rod car. Not really a hot rod, but it was for him. <laughs> um, and he was, he's, and he used to post some videos on that as well. Same thing with uh, Graham Fulston. Uh, I'm, if Graham responds to one of my comments, I'm honored because he gets dozens and dozens of comments on his videos. But now he, he uh, has friended me on Facebook and will comment on things I post on Facebook. And um, he subscribed to me recently. So I was very honored by that. I'll get on a train for free to Cornwall. Well, that might be one of the areas we're heading to. We, we rode a GDR8, GWR 800. And I, trust me, I spent most of our trip in, German, in the UK in 2022 begging Joyce... Joyce, I got to get a GWR 800. I wrote it. We can get one. That's the rule, right? We're, you're not, you can't write it on your layout, honey. You can't do it on your layout. Why are you going to get one? I'll put some DC track on the floor. And she laughed at that. And then what happened? I got the mallard. <laughs> and we have DC track on the floor. <laughs> and now I've gotten a Zuma 800 that she bought. She bought, not me. She bought. <laughs>
Well, I appreciate that, Andy. Well, hello, Uma Ave. Just looking in. You're doing a lot before you can look at the chat, so you'll just listen to Opa. Uh. That boy still does. He, he started with Call Me Opa, and then it became Bopa, and it's still Bopa. He adds a B to it. He's a little gangster, I think. Speaking of which, my grandson, Kyan, I had this hilarious moment a couple of weeks ago, and then it happened again yesterday. And it just tells you how wide his world is already. I took him out to McDonald's and bought, so he can play in the play area because he likes to go to McDonald's and play in the play area. It's the only one Toledo that still has a play area. And... Um, he um he got this little uh let's go to the wide or the multi view here for a bit so pe people can see everything. Now I know if you're on your phone that makes it hard, but there it is. Hey Mark, Modern Ro Railway Fantasia's there. So anyhow, um Kyan got a happy meal and it has a toy in it, and the toy is this thing called Just Dance, which is sort of like that Dance Dance Revolution video game. But it's different. It's all about upper body gestures or something like that. Whatever it is. Anyhow, I put the little thing and it, it becomes a top. It's a little spinny toy. You get a little cardboard figure, you stick in a base, and you spin it. And it comes with stickers so you can dress them all funky and everything. And so I, he, he's not quite sure what it is. I said, it's a top. So I cleared off the table where we're eating and I spin it. I spin it and let it spin. And as soon as it started spinning, he's going, dreidel, 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 dreidel. And I'm like, Kyan, are you Jewish? <laughs> and then we did, we, he got another one yesterday. He got a different one yesterday. And he starts spinning. And he's going, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. And I had to ask my daughter. He's, it's just one of the Christmas specials and uh, so, several of the cartoons. They, they, you know, they do the Jewish traditions as well as Christian and Islamic and Hindu and uh, they, you know, they open the world, which is awesome. So, but I, it just caught me off guard because I'm like, first time he's ever seen a top and he'd be like, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. And he, that's all he knew. He didn't, he didn't know the rest of the song. No, I did not. It's Stefan here. I didn't catch Stefan. Skull, our Norwegian Viking. Hello, great to see you. I did not see him. Thank you for reminding me. So, um, I just thought it, I thought it was Funny, cute, beautiful, all those things. Little three-year-old just... <laughs> of all the things that he might sing when watching a top, I didn't expect that. It, it was just cute and funny. It just floored me. I was in hysterics. The people in the main room just see me laughing and uh, wondering what's, what's wrong with that crazy old man with the kid. All right, Kyle, off to work. Take care. Thank you for popping in. Nobody's laughing at that story, so I might be in trouble. I don't know why. It was just funny. <laughs> It was just so freaking cute and funny. I just did not expect it. The kid has hit tape recorder mode where... Yes, the steamer does produce smoke. I don't know that it has any fluid in it at the moment, but it does produce fluid, uh, smoke.
But he's just a beautiful kid. Of course I'm biased. He's my one and only grandchild, but he's a beautiful kid nonetheless. And like a lot of three-year-old boys, he can be a little terrorist. DDR will wear you out. I remember my kids were all into DDR. That's one of the things they had set up in the basement. They had a TV and the PlayStation 3, and they had the DDR pads, and they would have their friends come over, and they would have little contests. Well, hello to Shortbread's mom. Oh, hi. Only eight months till Christmas. Yeah, it's the it's definitely the upside. There's a lot of downsides with tech, but the upsides outweigh the downsides. I know people and I'm friends with people because of YouTube and streaming and all the conspiracy theorists and it's out to get me and it's unfair to me or my group or blah blah blah. It's it's done wonders for me. I am talking to people on at least three different continents. And um I have had emails and video chats with people from three different continents that I would never have known if it weren't for uh, YouTube and, of course, the model train hobby. Now, of course, if I were into a different hobby, I'd be having the same thing. You know, um, that's where I, I get in trouble with the model train hobby is, um, you know, because we all like to say, oh, the people in this hobby are wonderful. No, the people in this hobby are people, which means some are wonderful and some are complete douchebags. We we don't have a higher propensity of niceness. All you got to do is get a couple of comments from Nick uh, Rivet Counters and you know. <laughs> Cleveland is very well known for their steamers. Well, I didn't know that. Or are you talking a different Cleveland than the one that's uh, 115 miles east of me? I love the city of Cleveland. I lived in Cleveland for a year. And it was tough to move back, moving back to Toledo. I did not want to move back to Toledo, but Joyce did. We all rivet counter, I think, to some degree. I don't consider myself a rivet counter, but if I buy a certain German train, I want the proper consist. But I don't care if the model is perfectly detailed or the cars aren't quite scaled right. You know, everybody has their one thing that, no matter how easy going they are, they're, they're tight about. But I just... I'm not worried about it. Um, I didn't come on YouTube to uh, become popular. Like any, I mean, my my failed uh, stand-up comedy side would love to have Matt Clark go viral. I mean, I've said that a million times. I would love Matt Clark to go viral, and suddenly somebody says, "Hey, we watch your Matt Clark stuff. That was pretty funny. Would you be willing to?" Blah, 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 blah. I'd be like, yes, I'll sell the rights or something. I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, I, I, I hope that's... The, I'm not worried if my train channel became popular, but um, I wish Matt Clark would be, would go viral. But as, as Joyce and I were talking the other day about it, it's like, I find it funny. And maybe... And there's a few other people who find it, but obviously it's not as funny as we find it. But um, but that's it. Or the song parodies. And Lord knows, uh, you know, we did have a couple of songs uh, that got a little bit of attention. Uh, a couple of them got used by the NM NMRA during a video conference a year or two ago, um, thanks to Andy Ambrose and that. Um, 
and people liked it, and they went from 200 views to 1,000 views. Okay, well, that was cool. Uh, but you never know which one's gonna, which one's gonna click. Uh, you know, I didn't think, I didn't think uh, my last one, the uh, Judas Priest version, I didn't think that would get as much thumbs up. I mean, that Judas Priest one, even though it's got about eh, 300 views, the Judas Priest parody we did, that's got about 300 views, which isn't a lot, but it's got 49 thumbs up. It's got 49 likes. That's the third most likes of any parody song. Uh, Digital Killed the Analog Guy has uh, 60, and then Ever Our Junction has 74. So those are the most liked videos ever our junction then digital killed the analog guy and then uh i've got another train coming is the third most like of any of those videos it's not even the top 10 in views but it's the third most thumbs up so and i'm singing that wow you know that's a shocker one i sang actually i have to point out that two <laughs> two i have to tease joyce even though she's the better singer and I'm such a horrible singer two of our three most liked videos are me singing <laughs> blue it's your bagpipe Oh, I had so many people. And that's where the comments on YouTube videos can annoy you. Is because I'm saying it's a beautiful model. And you get the rivet counters going nuts. And they're they're attacking you. You know. They're, they attack you because you're putting a picture of this train that they think is not right. And I'm like, hey, look at my new model. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it sucks at you. Suck at the world. Sucks at God damn you all for getting it raw. It's like, wow, really? Wow. You must have been eating nothing but oatmeal for 30 years to be that full and not able to explode. Hey, Simon, how are you? You're glad you didn't learn the bagpipes. I love the bagpipes. I can't play them, but I love them. Can't speak Scots on spell checker. <laughs> I only know stereotyped accents. I learned my Scottish from Monty Python and uh, Pink Floyd, <laughs> uh, some other British comedians. I mean, we all did that in 78, 79. Yeah! Yes, yeah! Stand still, laddie! Oh, thank you, Jason. I'm, I've learned quite a lot about American trades, and now I see American trades I like. And But again, most American guys are more freight-oriented. I think more than any other country, America is more freight train than by far. If, if I could give a completely biased view, I would say three out of every four American model train guys emphasize freight. Where in the UK, it's like half passenger, half freight. Germany, half passenger, half freight. Maybe a little bit more passenger than freight. Uh, but, the, but the American channels definitely are more freight, more freight than... Uh, more freight than passenger trains because America doesn't have the big passenger train system, of course. August needs and tatties. Hey, Chris, the model train aficionado is here. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Sir Chris, the model train aficionado. Yeah, and everybody's got the reason. I mean, we all have a reason. Number one, you're into trains. And then there, if you're really into trains, there's something that 
grabs your heart. An era, it gives you a reason I can do this and this. It all works. I just like the trains of this era. I, you know, as we all know, I run modern German passenger trains because that's all I know in the world of trains. I've learned more from the people like you who come to my channel and share your channels and then I watch your channels and you talk about things and I learn or I read what you guys put in here and some of it sticks and sometimes I have to read it 20, 30, 40 times, hear it 50 times and then it sticks. Um, you know, I could talk to Randall and ask Randall questions because he's always willing to be helpful and answer questions. Um, it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful um, situation that I can learn what I want to learn as I want to learn it. Okay, I'm going to, I think my ears have had enough of all the motor sounds. I turned it, turned half of them on. Now it's good. Well, I know, all I know is in the UK, you do see a lot of freight uh, moving by rail. Um, but, um, but, um, it, it, you know, those, you in the UK and the Republic of Ireland and on continental Europe and probably Asia and many parts of Africa, trains never went out. Trains were never replaced. In the United States, trains were replaced. Yes, we still have some trains running, but we built the super highway system and the Americans built our cars and we traveled everywhere. And I have and I know Germans that have cars and they'll travel more by train than by car. Yes, because gas is expensive and parking is expensive. They've got the parts of the uh, Autobahn that don't have speed limits. But um, to me, 20 trips to 20 trips abroad, 19 trips abroad, whatever it's been, 18, um, 2003 to 2017 every year, and then 19, 22, and 23, and now going on 24 um, with Australia. We've never had to rent a car. We've never had to rent a car. We get around by trains and buses. Trains, buses, and subways. Public transportation everywhere. And we love it. It's so much easier than having to get on the road and have some idiot cut you off because uh, he's in a race and you're doing 85, but he needs to do 93 and you're in his way. Um, and, and all that stuff, it just... As I've gotten older, I've grown to dislike driving on the on driving more and more. And Germany has had a lot to do with that because in Germany I can just get on a train, talk to Joyce, read and talk to Joyce, look out the window and talk to Joyce. Uh, Joyce pretending she doesn't know me, and uh, yeah, it's just crazy. No, uh, well, wait, which one? Are you talking the long blue check? Or are you talking the one in the background here? Those are all tin plates on the one train. That one train that just went past, it'll come around again. Let me see if I can catch it real quick. Yeah, coming up here. The one being pulled by the steamer, those are Merklin tin plates. But everything else is uh, all modern, modern plastic cars. But yeah, these right here, those are tin plates. That's my horse train. <laughs> well, hello, my lord. Welcome in. Nice to have you joining us. Randall, there, the problem is, it's the problem with a lot of American economics is corporations, super corporations that are about how little can we do for how much money. But when we get away from that and the political talk and the economics, the quote problem with American transportation is that in Germany, passenger trains have priority. Freight trains go at later hours when there's less 
public transportation, freight trains have to get out of the way of public, and in the United States it's the exact opposite. You have freight lines own, freight companies own most of the railways, and they prioritize their freight first, the freight from other companies second, and Amtrak third. And even though Amtrak supposedly owns many miles of track, it's co-op. It's co-owned with freight companies. So Amtrak trains can, well, and on the East Coast it's better, but cross country, my son can tell you, twice he's gone from Toledo to Chicago, which is a four and a half hour car ride, Toledo to Chicago and back by train, because he's used to traveling by train in Europe and he would rather drive a train than ride a train than drive a car to Chicago. And I understand that. But he's never had less than a four hour delay. And one of his delays was nine hours. Because the train's constantly having to pull over and let the freight through because freight has priority. We never developed a national, a truly nationalized passenger train industry. We, if I use the word sold out, it comes across negatively, but in a way we sold out. We sold out for the interstate highways, which were built for military transport. That's why they're there, people. That's why all your I-90s and I-95s and I-50s and I-55s, that's why they're there. Those were military roads. Get our tanks from East Coast to West Coast, depending on which direction the Russians attacked us or the Chinese. Yeah, that's a scary proposition there, Jason. Yeah, exactly, Von Don Eisenbahn. That's the, that's the thing. Um, it's inconsistent. Now, up until a few years ago, Germany, it was funny because Germans would complain if the train, Germans complained if the train was two or three minutes late. But they've, they've had some situations occurred, including uh, a lot of, Drivers retired or left the industry because of new contract and regulations. Um, they're, and so they all quit. And Germany is left with less drivers and blah, blah, blah. So they've had lots of cancer. And of course, COVID made things uh, insane as well. So the Germans, uh, the, rail, the rail lines in Germany aren't quite as punctual as they used to be. But still, Joyce and I, last year, 2023, Germany, we had... We had um, Two trains that we booked where we got changed, where instead of getting picked up in Stuttgart, we're, and they screwed up our seats, but the train was on time. Um, and we had three trains that arrived more than five minutes late. The latest we were was 20 minutes, which is not a big deal to us. But obviously, if you're trying to catch another train, 20 minutes can be a big deal. But... Um, so it looks like Germany is starting to square back up and get back in line. Because in 2019, our last trip to Germany, we had a lot of late trains and canceled trains uh, because uh, all the drivers had quit. And, um, and, that. and of course, when we were in the UK, we were dealing with uh, train driver strikes. But we never had a train affected. We lucked out. We were traveling either on days where there were no rail actions or the rail actions did not affect the trains we were on. <laughs> hey, Tammy and Ray are here. But it's just, it's, it is what it is. It is a bed we've made. I would love to see a high-speed train system through the United States. Will it happen? I don't know if we have the courage to invest in it. Um, you know, one where we would do new tracks and utilize certain other tracks and maybe a little co-opting from the corporations and let them have those lines for freight all the time and then have other lines that are for passenger service. But, uh, you know, it's... 
nothing's perfect, nothing's ever perfect. Um, and the thing is, I just, I do enjoy traveling by train. That's why I have these. If I didn't enjoy traveling by trains, I would not be into model trains. These are my trains to remind me of all. We just crashed. We are back. Well, that was weird. Yeah, it just, uh, we had a disconnect. My, our local internet's been blinking a bit, so it might have been that. I'm hardwired, so it means it's outside again. Stupid. And the thing is, it's not my company. AT&T is in our neighborhood. They've been expanding their services, and they, they currently share lines with three other companies. So they are putting up their own lines to run um, optical. They're, they're going back to optical, and they're trying to go. So AT&T is digging up and messing with lines around here. And I wonder if they're the ones that caused the problems I had for a couple of weeks in a row where I was dropping off and had to use StreamYard again since my cable company was saying it wasn't us or they thought it might have been my box. But last week my box was working, and this week it's been working. I haven't changed it out yet. But the AT&T has had crews. We've been seeing the trucks around lately. So they're working in the neighborhood. Oh, well. But anyhow, the thing is, I, I, I love traveling by train. And in Germany, it is cheaper. Other than you get one of those Ryanair or whatever the cheap companies are deals. But I'll tell you, I don't like to fly anyhow. And... If the train was the same price as the plane, the plane from Toledo to L.A. is three hours and 20 minutes. And if the train takes a day, I'll still take the train if it's the same price because I don't want to fly. <laughs> but that's just me. Oh, Ben, I'm looking forward to those too. I like the Asilas that I see running on the East Coast. Um... Uh, I have, I have an American train coming for my layout. Actually, it came and had to leave. It had to get, it got sent back because I think I fried the decoder. Oh, a plane from Berlin to Madrid is cheaper. Um, a plane would be cheaper and much faster. Now, I don't know if it would be cheaper. Um, a train ride from Berlin to Madrid, uh, but there are plenty of people that do it. They'll, they'll ride the sleeper cars. The longest I've been on a train is um, six and a half, no, seven hours. We went from Berlin to Cologne at night, so the train went a little slower. And we just, all my students and I, we just decided to save a hotel room and we just traveled overnight. So we got on the train at 11 and we got to uh, Cologne or Cologne as we call it in German. Cologne. I tend to say Cologne. I don't like using the, the French and anglicized French name. Cologne. It's Cologne. Um, anyhow, uh, we got there at 7 a.m. We left about 12, got there at 7. And Joyce slept about two hours. I slept about four. Hey, Sir Andy Dobson is here. Welcome in, welcome in. But um, if... Now, Maryland has made Amtrak trains and cars. In fact, there is a set that Jean Ricard pointed me at where I didn't like the locomotive Maryland made to go with the cars, but I kind of like the cars. But they're, they're 70s and 80s era cars, and I want something that's current era. And the company LMS has just released a ton of Amtrak locomotives. Gorgeous, modern era locomotives. The, um, I forget the make. If you don't mind me, I'll go here. Let's go to the multi-view. You guys can watch trains from different angles. Uh, it also makes it smaller. Or let's go to the bridge view. That's a nice close-up view. You guys can see of the trains or maybe that view. Now nah, this one's 
a little better. You'll see more trains that way. And I'm going to look something up real quick. Um, do it again, do it again, bow, bow, bow. Where are we at? Where are we at? Um, let's type in Amtrak. Talk amongst yourselves while I'm out of the room, students. Okay, and let's go HO. And let's go Air 6. Filter. Da 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 Here we go. Yes, this will work. This will work. I can show these. Uh, so now I just got to go to Windows. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your screen may temporarily go dark. Pay no mind to the man behind the curtain. All right, so don't panic just yet. All right, here we go. So now I got to make this fit the screen. But yeah, Lemke, not LMS, Lemke, which is owned by Kado now, they've released a whole bunch of Era 6, which is modern era. I love all of these. I would buy at least two of these hands down. But the one up here, well, I don't know if I'm showing you that one up here. This one in the upper left-hand corner. I love this one. I would buy that in a heartbeat. Even though it says Era 5, it's actually an Era 6. Down here it says Era 5. Up here it says Era 6. But that might be it just ran out of type space. I love that. That would look cool on my layout. I would get that one. My next favorite one is right below it and then right next to it. These three right here. To be honest, I love the black and yellow, but... It reminds me too much of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I hate the Pittsburgh Steelers. But these three I love, and I would get any one of these. But they're DC, and I don't know how easy they would be to convert to three rail. Well, I don't have any say. I bought the ticket. I'm stuck. And don't say anything else because I'm already terrified of flying and hearing bad things one way or the other. I've ridden Airbuses and I've done other companies. I don't like flying regardless of who the operation is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Operation Lifesaver. But, again, these all are gorgeous. I just have a color issue with that one. <laughs> if they had done it. Black and red, it would have been cool. If they had done blue and yellow, it would have... Well, no, blue and yellow is Michigan, and I hate Michigan, too. Maize and blue. Um, but anyhow, be that as it may. Um, but if I was going to buy one, it'd be the one that you see in the upper left-hand corner. I just... I love that. And then Pico makes um, a new set of cars that would go with it. So there are some... Uh, cars. Actually, those go with the ICE-3 train they made, which aren't actual cars. But, eh, maybe get them to go with it anyhow, except those have the pin connectors. Um, but anyhow, be that as it may, I want a modern era car, but that Amtrak there, I would buy that in a heartbeat. The problem is, I don't know if it could be converted. And I actually sent Lemke a letter saying, how hard is it to convert these to three rail? Can it be done? And they never responded. So now let's go back to uh, trains. So P42s, yeah. So I love those. 
those would look great, and I would happily, if I could get some matching cars, I would p buy that and put it on my layout. And I don't care if the cars are DC, because I can run the DC cars on my layout as long as they're not powered, you know, um, where they have pickups to run the lights and stuff. That wouldn't work. But the DC stuff would work on my layout just fine as rolling stock. The locomotives won't, but the non-powered rolling stock would. So I wouldn't have a problem with that. It's just sad, sad, sad that Lemke only made those in two rail. But I would buy one. In fact, I was going to buy one, and then I bought something else instead that I wanted to show you last week, but I had to send it back. So I may, I may, you know, I don't want to buy any trains right now, um, but I may look into buying one of those and getting it converted after Australia. Because right now I don't want to buy, spend any more money on trains uh, because I'm looking, you know, the Australia trip is just over a month away. It's um, five and a half weeks away. I could run it on the floor, Hot Dog Pilot. You're absolutely right. I could. And trust me, I thought of that. But I really want to get an American Amtrak train on this layout. Plus, if I ran it with those British trains, one way or the other, somebody's train is going backwards. All you rivet counters out there. Oi! You've got the UK trains on the wrong side of the track! Don't know why that came out somewhat Australian, but there it is. But, uh, I mean, I can show you that, too. There's, um... I'll show you. I, I hate to show this. I don't want to give it away because I'm I'm debating on talking myself into buying them and risking the wrath of Joyce, who already knows I was looking at them and talking myself out of them, but now I'm talking myself into them. Would you stop bouncing the screen on me? All your stupid ads. This guy did not take the best pictures, but let me see if I can do this now. Let me see. Let's go back to Windows, and I'll show you this real quick. Is it going to show up? Yeah. So here is a Merklin set, except this is really an Era 5 set of trains here. And... Uh, of cars now if somebody were to tell me honestly that these cars actually are still being used even as the problem is he put the pictures in sideways but these cars go for a lot more money than this guy is asking these Maryclin cars go for a lot more money they go for double even triple the price this guy is asking for. But I think they're beautiful cars. They're just not my era. And I don't think they would look right with any of the locomotives. That's the old Amtrak uh, 70s logo, 80s logo. But those cars go for a fortune, and this guy's asking literally half of what the cheapest next offer is. These things go for three hundred to four hundred fifty dollars, and this guy's asking one hundred and forty-five. And I've been slowly, slowly, slowly trying to talk myself into or out of buying them. Yeah, well, Jason, Era 5 is the 90s. For the American world. Although the dates 
And of course, the change of eras is transitional. There's a decade on either side where things are changing. But the, the German model train market seems to have fairly set that pre-World War One is era one, era two is World War One to World War II, Era 3 is after World War II into the late 60s, early 70s. Era 4 is the 70s into the 80s. Era 5 is the 80s to 2000. And then Era 6 is the 2000s to now. And already they're talking about changing and making stuff beginning around 2022 or post-pandemic. They're going to start calling that Era 7 in the model train world. There's been some whispers of that. It did, Leslie, and that's the thing. It's kind of cool. But yeah, the European, the European, but the thing is the American world seems to be fairly on par with um, the European. The UK, I still have not learned the UK dating system because the UK rail system went through so many changes. You know, so... I once saw that there's something like 11 or 12 eras in the UK system. There's modern era, but then there's in pre-industrial, uh, pre-nationalization, nationalization, post, you know, the big era of the big four, you know, there's so many different eras and I have never seen a chart that explains them. I haven't looked very heavily for it, but there it is. Yeah, Ifo, that's not the one that I was told goes with it, the three-part F7, although I totally agree with you that the Merklin F7 would go with that. But I was shown a different loco that goes with that. But yeah, that uh, that three-part F7, I think, definitely seems to be the more appropriate match. Yeah, and the the American Streamliners, I know that, go to the 50s because that was the era for it. That's sort of, you know, if you go watch 19, late 40s, 1950s space movies, you know, when space movies suddenly became a thing. The rocket ships all look like that and the trains came out looking like that. Hey, Monsville is here. Hello, Monsville. Hey, Mon, how are you? Because that's what I thought of, Leslie. I thought those cars looked similar to the Zephyr. I thought those cars looked very much like a Zephyr. But, be that as it may, I bought, at quite a bit of money, an American train made three rail and made digital it was an analog el cheapo uh well not even an analog el cheapo uh but it was an analog dc train and i bought it and i've had it pimped out and i was actually i had a visitor here thomas from thomas Merklin trains and and scale cars and uh Thomas was actually here when I was running it in, and it all of a sudden just stopped. It was running fine. We were enjoying it. looked great. Thomas is the only one besides me who had seen it running. And I decided to switch lanes and get it over to finish running it in where it would just do easy circles. And it came around me and slowed down weirdly, and then suddenly sped back up, did another loop, and then I got it to the um, switch. It went through the switch, seemed to be okay, and then did one loop and stopped. And I went through everything. I put all my other trains away. I put it on my... Because sometimes what will happen is something will short and it will change the address of the train. So I put it on my programming track and asked it to find train, no decoder, nothing found. So... Either a wire pop, because I couldn't even open the thing. I was 
Thomas is trying to help me, and I'm trying to open the thing, and we're like, we're going to break this. Never mind. We'll just ship it back. Raymond, um, is, is that officially true now? Because Acme did release a couple of AC trains a couple of years ago. In fact, that, that's an Acme I'm running now. I think you know. The blue check, that's an Acme. Where's he at? Okay, he's coming station view. Quick, station view, station view. Darn it. There it is. Yeah, right there. That class 371, that is an Acme. And what made me mad is Acme made Acme made that 371 in blue only in DC digital. But they made a 371 in the old uh, red and gold livery in both DC and AC, two rail and three rail. Same stupid train. Now, why did they make one both AC and DC and one just DC? I don't know. And then Pico turned around and released the red in eight. No, uh, Maryland released the red 371, the red and gold 371, but not the blue. They're doing the N the N S I C N G. Okay, but again, Evo, can you and Ray uh, Raymond? I I haven't seen yet. Because Acme did make three rail. They announced three rail, but this particular model and the last two models. Because I love this Acme. I was impressed with the quality of this Acme. I was willing to buy another one, and they didn't release that one in AC. And I heard somebody whisper that they were going to stop making three rail, but I never saw it officially announced. Do you know for, do you know for a fact, or maybe Epo, that Acme has officially discontinued all AC stuff? Yeah, wrong Acme. This is their train division. Me me. Me me. Every time I go to this camera, it's empty, and I'm looking at there's trades there. Somebody will be coming through in a second. Ah, uh, let's do this guy here, the tin plater. The red one had the different bogeys being the non-rebuilt. Okay. Hey, Eric's here. How you doing, Eric? Because I know today was a um, dialysis day. How you doing, my friend? Well, a coyote didn't keep him in business. He was their owner. Yeah, because that's what I did. I, uh, Ifo, I bought this thinking, well, they've got an AC version of the red one. It can't be that hard. And I sent this off to my guy in California who does all my conversions. And he, he contacted me and he says, uh, yeah. This is not going to happen. And he says, then he called me back a day later and he said, I've got an idea. Would you have a problem if I put everything in a passenger car behind it? The pickups and everything and just ran the wires. Or actually, he's got it on the Merklin, uh current conducting couplers. So um, I said, I don't care as long as you can get it working. So he put the ski on. He found a way to get... Or actually, the ski is on the passenger car behind it. So that passenger car is permanently attached to the locomotive. If I want to run that locomotive, I have to have that passenger car with it, that first class passenger car. So if I want to run it with a red 101 or my white 101, I have a other first class passenger car that's normal, regular, that I then replace that one with. Because that one can only work with the locomotive. So all the pickups, the decoder and everything. Actually, I think the decoder is the decoder is in the train, but everything else is in the uh, is in the locomotive, but everything else is in the um, passenger car. It's a brilliant job. It runs beautifully. 
other than the adjustment I had to make to it to run on three rail track because it wasn't designed for running on three rail track. All right, Brian is taking off. Good night. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Wonderful to always have you here. Hey, did I see uh, you and the Growlers here? How have you been? Haven't seen you in a little while online. Or if you've been online, I missed your video because I've been disconnected from YouTube uh, lately. Because I'm working till dark and then I'm so tired, I go in and I start to watch videos and I just fall asleep on my chair. Joy says, honey, go to bed. And I'm like, okay. But quite, quite, um, I am ecstatic with it because when we rode this train to Prague, it had the 371 on it. The train we caught from Prague to Dresden to go back uh, had a, 10, a red 101 on it. So now I can do both versions of the Czech EC. And I just, even with these being the, um, I think these are, are those Roco or Pico cars? Hey guys, are you Roco or Pico? I can't remember. I think they're Rocos. No, they're Picos. They are Picos. They're Picos. Um, but anyhow, um, I think they look cool. I, I don't even know if they're 100% accurate, although the um, the uh, corridor coaches, the ones, you know, that have the little sitting rooms in them, because that's where Joyce and I sat on the way down. Because on the way back, we got upgraded to first class. We went up to the counter to check our train and what platform was it going to be on in that. And they said, uh, well, it's coming in uh, five minutes later, but we have a deal for five euros each. You can upgrade to first class. So Joyce and I said, why not? Yeah, I would have to stop it, pick it up, and show you how we did it. But yeah, I believe... If it's a hell of a job and it runs smoothly. It's a beauty, and I love it. I mean, I, I did not have, you know, it's sort of like my attitude towards Mahano, where I thought Mahano only made crap. I had not heard great things about Acme trains. Now I hadn't heard a lot of negative either, but um, most of what I heard was relatively negative. Um, this is a beautiful locomotive. It is well built. It's got weight to it. It has pulling power to it. And it's just a really, really sharp locomotive. I think it's really well made. Abteilwagen versus Großraumwagen. Yeah. Compartments versus, yeah, main seating. Since very few of us speak German... In this channel, I tend to not speak German unless somebody comes in speaking German, Evo, and then I'll, I'll start rattling off some. And that's my problem, Evo, is I actually know more of what this stuff is called in German than I do in American English. <laughs> Even you, because things are different between UK English and American English. Yeah, I just bought that because... Luxembourg. <laughs> it just was CFL, and I'm like, oh, what the hell? Uh, we bought that. I think we were with uh, Jean Ricard. Was that when we were with Jean Ricard in Hamburg? And we bought that. And I just wanted a tarpaulin car. I wanted a long tarpaulin car, and they only had the one. I would have bought two or three of them. Um... You had a girlfriend named First Class? <laughs> there is a bad joke there. Um, I don't usually travel in 
The only place I'd want to travel in first class is on an airplane, and I can't afford it. On trains, I... Now, Joyce and I have ridden first class on a railjet, which was very nice. But it was a railjet express, which was, was slightly down. First class on the full railjet, that's... That's luxury on a train for a mass commuter train. But otherwise, there isn't a big deal like first class on an IC3 versus second class on an IC3. The legroom isn't that much different that it, like, I'm like, oh, so much more space here. Yeah, the SNC CFL, right. But otherwise, I'm usually happy riding in economy class. I don't. Joyce and I are quite happy to sit and chat and and all that. Um, the nicest first class Joyce and I ever rode in was a. Um, Scott's Rails from Edinburgh to Sterling. They upgraded us from economy class to first class. And that was nice. That was a class 43 HST. Uh, you know, it was a 43 uh, power cab. And um, that was nice. How was how's the bastard engine? That's still a bastard. But, uh, I mean, I would like to ride more rail in other countries. Joyce is scared of me riding more rail in other countries because I'd want to buy the trains. Like, I've seen Slovakian. I've seen some Slovakian passenger cars and locomotives that are just really cool. Uh, Hungary's got some beautiful Taurus locomotives uh, and some really cool cars. But Hungary's way it, until Hungary's attitude changes about some things, I, I'm not interested in giving my money to that country. Sorry, any Hungarians watching. Um, but, um, But uh, we we enjoyed we enjoyed being in the Czech Republic. We've been in the Czech Republic a couple of times, um, and enjoyed the mass transport and the trains and the subways and, and stuff. And then, um, but yeah, just Austrian trains, the railjet, and then this guy coming around. He'll be right here in a second. He's coming right at you. Now we didn't have the yellow Taurus pulling it. But Joyce and I rode one of these trains for the first time going below me here, that guy. We rode one of those uh, from uh, Stuttgart, well, actually Esslingen, outside of Stuttgart, Esslingen to uh, Salzburg. We rode city jets, uh, and yeah, it, it, it was just nice. And I've we've never, never needed to rent a car. Now, in the UK, public transportation not as well done. Sorry, guys. Uh, there were a couple of places that we didn't go to because there wasn't an easy way to get to those places. There wasn't a there wasn't a public bus line that went out there where we could catch a train to here and then catch a bus or something over to there. So we just like, well, we can't make it. If we rented a car, we could go, but I don't want to rent a car. And I don't want to run a car for the first time where I'm driving on the other side of the road with a steering wheel on the other side. Now, actually, in some ways, that would be kind of cool because you're still on the steering wheel side to the inside of the road. But it would just all be the opposite of what I'm used to. Hey, Sir Colin, how are you, sir? You just got home? Was asked to do a shift to cover someone who was off ill. Oh, I had a hunch that's what you were referring to, Zader. But, you know, I put it on there. I love that guy. I love that locomotive. Runs great. It's a beautiful Czech locomotive. 
I still wanted to get that class 109. Well, actually, it's a class 103. 102, I'm sorry. Oh, 102. But it's technically a Skoda 109. Uh, I've got the one in red, but I really wanted to get the American one with the check flag. But my one in red is such a weak runner. I didn't want to have two of them and ha and have the risk of them both be it. It is my class 102 is probably the worst Maryland locomotive I have. I don't even think it was the least expensive, although I did get it at a really good price. But it's okay on. I wonder when Joyce is going to come in. I heard her come in a little bit ago. Let's see how the guys on the floor are doing. Now oh, they're spinning around that HST. That high-speed train's just going in circles. He doesn't care. He's just going. He's looking at the mallard going, you can't ke keep up with me, dude. Look at me going. I'll pass you three times before you get done with one side. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just personified trains. But then again, many of you grew up with Thomas, so you already know about personified trains. And the mallard's just let him go in. Let's see you last 100 years like I have, young whippersnap. And Leslie's taking off. Thank you for hanging out with us, Leslie. Great to see you. Hey, Graham's here. Hello, Sir Graham. And hello at Frisco Soto Hernandez. Saludos desde America. Oh, the one with the red and white striped stator? Yeah, Maryland and Rocco released it in red and gold, but not the blue and white that I needed. I needed this because at the time I was still really trying to strictly adhere to trains I had ridden. Hey, so Ian is here. Hello, Ian. All right, Simon is off for the night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I forget how Danish says good night, darn it. Um, my only thing, Graham, and this is where I will get in trouble or mocked or laughed at, uh, I don't drive stick shifts. And, um, so in the UK, I would have to rent an automatic and, um, and a stick shift would be even crazier in the UK because I'm left-handed. Now you would think steering wheel left hand would make it easier, but I'm coordinated my left hand is the control hand. My right hand does that stuff. It's like playing guitar. As a lefty, it's your right hand that's doing all the little messing around with the strings while your left hand is just doing this. Because <laughs> this is your control hand. And this is your, you know, so you get the idea. So driving a stick shift is hard for me to coordinate left hand and right handed, period. And I'm actually very coordinated. But... I just, my dad never drove stick shifts, so I never really was experienced with stick shifts, and the couple times I've even remotely tried have been not fun. Good night. Okay, I was getting there. I was working on that. Come on, woman, where are you? All right, taking a time out to communicate with wifey poo. Well, I don't know. I mean, I was seeing um, in the UK, I was seeing various Fords and, you know, European built Fords and even a couple of American style Fords. I was seeing all kinds. I was seeing Mercedes that were not inexpensive, uh, were not too expensive. Because we, when we were going to go to Getz, we were thinking of renting a car and driving from Heathrow up to Milton Keynes because it was actually going to be faster because where we come out of Heathrow, the rent-a-car place is right there 
and then the rent-a-car place is right on the main highway. You drive up to Milton Keynes. But then we found a train that actually was faster that we wouldn't have had to drive. A flappy pedal shifter. But be that as it may. Da -da -da -da. But the thing is, we didn't. It, it, there's a couple of places I wish we had gone, but we didn't. Hey, I know you. Yeah. This feels so weird without my carpeting here. Yeah, You're going to rock yourself and go backwards into the table now. <laughs> Yeah, I like Joyce's deck, too. <laughs> That's code, isn't it? How is that Joyce's deck? Here, you can have that. Let me get this this out of the way. And then let's get your camera spun around on you. Here's where we do that. In <laughs> Hi, Tom. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Ben. Hi, Eric. Hi, Colin. Hi, Wolfsack. Hi, Mick. Oh, um, the, Andy. the bogeys are the same. Hi, they just Monsville. put the AC favoring wheels. Now, actually, Pico Hi, makes Andy. Pico hey, makes Ian. very few Hi, AC stock. They make some, but for the most part, Pico doesn't make a lot of AC okay, rolling stock. So hi, Ray and Tammy. Okay, Dino. Hi, Lovington. That's Graham. Hi, Graham. March West is Andy. Yes. Yes, that's Andy. Right. Okay. Hi, Raymond. I know it's almost safe to say Andy, but it is what it is. So, anyway, I got waves in the clap there, so that's nice. So, hi, uh, Al. Lord Al is here. Lord Al, yeah. Has graced us with his presence. Yes. He's come out of the lavvy to join us. <laughs> the lavvy. Or maybe he's in the lavvy while he's joined us. Yeah, hey, yeah, it's true. Well, I'm stuck in here for a while. I really don't know. Yeah, we could be entertaining him. Babs, lock the door and let me in here. <laughs> oh, golly. Yeah, I got to sign in. You have to type Oops, in your password? Yes. Your new password? Yes. Yeah, remember my password is different on my phone. Yeah. I think that's right. Yeah, unfortunately it already sold out. I I showed it to Joyce and said I was tempted. She actually you looked at me and asked if I was tempted and I said it sold out. I couldn't get it if I wanted it. Oh, with this two step verification. Exactly. It's on the phone. That part I knew, Efo and Raymond. Okay, decided I was really me. Yes, we are we are planning we are planning on coming to get this year. Just like we were planning on last year. The bright side we don't have a wedding beforehand, so that should help. So there's no well there's yeah, we won't have any mass get togethers. Although, then again, it would be our son's first wedding anniversary, and they might be having a party. <laughs> oh, I doubt they'll have a party party. Do you? Yes, we're going to have a party party. I don't know, unless she gets pregnant. Just a little chat. What's the matter? There, there you go. go. Okay. Sort it out, dear. Unless sort it out. In. Okay, we need to run to Lowe's. Okay, we can do that and grab dinner. I need a router. I need a new router bit. Right, okay. I actually was routering the... Um, see, I forgot, and Ray Ray Bertelson, that helps Tammy and, and, how Tammy did you and know? Son Ray a lot. <laughs> Lord Ale, how'd you know? He was in the lavvy. Oh, Lordy, tired. But it's all right, we'll make but it. But anyhow, Ray Bertelson yes. uh, yeah? commented on one of the videos said, you could just uh, use a router and cut them off. And I was like, that's what I did last time. I used my little, I had the little hand router. And I just routered them off. 
the, the sides? Yeah, the, the edges angles? off. Yeah, oh. the angles. I use that router okay, bit. Gotcha. The problem is that router bit's only an inch, and I now need something longer than an inch. Gotcha. Okay. That's fine. We can go. Maybe I'll get a little extra. I'm not as tired as yesterday. I don't, I don't even think I need a new router. I can still use the handheld one. I could get a big one. I'm down to two routers. I got the one that's on the table and right, then the... Yours, well, actually, yeah. I've got three routers. I've got the one that's on the router table now, and I don't want to detach that no, and use it. Yeah, I've got the, the, the large hand router, the Black & Decker mm -hmm. one, right. which I used last time, but these boards are bigger, and it was struggling. I did the steps. Gotcha. I started the steps. I did oh, the top okay. part. Uh-huh. Well, So I want to get maybe a bigger router. Okay. And uh, Alrighty. And then I need at least a one and a half inch um, straight bit with a okay. rolling bin on it. Gotcha. Because I've got it, I've got it in quarter inch, or uh, I've got it in inch, but I need inch and a half long. Mm -hmm. Those half inches matter. Okay. You're a woman; you understand that. <laughs> yes, I do. Good night, folks. Any chance of the CD? Hey, hello, on? Sir Anthony at Trevorton Junction. Ray is typing. I am teaching him to read chat and respond appropriately. Okay. Well, that's cool. Hi, Ray. Hi, Great Ray. to have you yes. at the keyboard. Nice you are typing. Hey, Joberton. Not much to learn, Ray. Just do what you do. Smile with a keyboard. Yeah. One inch One said, inch the, said the access to the key. Oh, yeah. My phone's right here. What do you mean it's not here? Horn fest request, please. A horn fest? Oh my god. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you don't have any up on here, I would hit them for you. Oh can my you, God! I can't. Can you hear them? They are, you know, the electric cords are not very loud. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Oh, that one doesn't have horns. Oh, that station announcement's not horn. <laughs> this is wimpy. I don't have any of the big guys. The 101, and then the Roco 218 does not have a strong horn. Oh. The Taurus has the best. Here, I'll try to hit them as they come around. Joyce. <laughs> it's just not the same with uh, like it is with steamers. All right. The chat is bleeding your grandson. Oh, oh, did Kai... Oh, is Kai Sleepy in Kai, and he just got up. You heard it 4,000 miles away. That is good. Sleepy Kai, and he took a nap. All right, here we go. Kai! Hey, Kai! Opa loves you. Love you. Hey, Kai! Okay, hopefully that was good, Lynn. <laughs> okay, that's good. I said they don't have much. Yeah, today was positive, sh positive T-shirt. So I got a, you are the reason I love to teach. And a lot of people laughed at me. <laughs> That's a bald-faced lie. Yeah, kind of. But you know what? I'm doing the best That's I can. That's nasty that they would say that. No, they that. just know how rough the group is. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, it was but all, they're still the reason you teach. If they didn't get educated, all, you wouldn't be there. That's true. No, it was all a good laugh. Because I see everything. Oh, that's nice here because. So, see, yeah, the way Raymond was, and Evo go, I should just put a horn on and say, okay, what model and. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Who made this horn? <laughs> I think that is a 2017 Maryland 218. I think the only question was it was why I love to teach. You are the reason. 
See, the one I would like to have the horn, it doesn't have the horn. That's that BR-50. Right, yeah, because it would be a better horn. Here comes the Class 371. <laughs> oh, that's really quiet. That was, yeah, that was weak. That's a very quiet one. Make up the law, follow the law, break the law. Yeah, that's the tune for my group this year. Don't sit on all those chairs. Yeah, watch me. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah. Make up the law, follow the law, break the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> breaking the law, breaking the law. Ah, since I've already ruined one Judas Priest song. Oh, really? You died. Is that Lynn? Yeah. What's she saying? So stay on. Come on, search your messages out. Darn woman. Oh, she sent a picture of him? He wasn't very excited today. He just puffed his cheeks. Looking at you. <laughs> Just puffed his cheeks at me. Puffed his cheeks at us. Okay. <laughs> that boy. We loves him, we do. If you think I'll sit around let this drink go by, you're thinking like a fool. Because <laughs> in the case, it caught my eye. Uh, there were a few that were somewhat questionable, but uh, it was all right. Out there is a train set waiting to all be right, had. Ipo, yeah, it's bedtime indeed. All right, Epo, thank not, you for joining I'm not us make, and sharing. I'm not making it that late tonight. You're not? I'm not. You're not going to stay I, up till 1130 tonight? I probably will, but I will, sure don't want to. <laughs> and I'm sleeping in tomorrow. Good for you. <laughs> At least I want to. I could say I want Are to sleep in tomorrow, but I don't. Yeah, I know. You know, my sisters are all the same way. They can't sleep very late. I don't know why I still can. You always have been, though. I know. Well, Julie used to sleep in forever. She can't sleep past 8. You have always been. 10 o'clock was early for you. Yeah, I know. Except when you I've had school. I've gotten a little better. Now you're still on a day where you can really get to sleep in. I don't see you until 10, 10, 30. Yeah, I've been up for two, I'm three hours working for, or up, watching YouTube or I'm something. I'm up at nine something. It's because I don't come down. Ha! Do it not, people. Good enough. Nice. You can speak our German, do you? Can you? Evil? Here, Jiu Jitsu yeah, guys, I'm sure it would be considered a positive shirt. I don't know. What does it say? I'm positively going to kill you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm positive. You're an idiot. That's a positive shirt. Yeah. I'd be I'd be told to take that shirt off going to at work, but yeah, I don't have that problem anymore. No, you don't. Great, that always makes me feel good. <laughs> oh, I can fall asleep to Anthony talking too, but I try always. really hard not to because I think it hurts his feelings. Yeah. I try, I try, 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 try. Sometimes I fail, but I try. Yes, you fall asleep. Try, I'm talking try. to you and you fall asleep. That's all right, you fall asleep during other things. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Those trains, Toledo, CSX. No, you know trains in Toledo are CSX? Yes, we get a lot of yeah, CSS we do trains a lot of in CSS here. CSS go through. Had a lot of CSX going through. I don't know. You know more about American trains than I do, Ray. All right, Raven. Well, like I say, P or Randall, people were, uh, you know, some of them were a little debatable, but most of them were nice. We try to be nice. It's funny. One of the special ed teachers across from me. 
She, she had a new t-shirt and I said, oh, I have a poster like that. <laughs> so we had a good chuckle over that, that she's wearing my poster. Or you're wearing her <laughs> poster. Uh, so, death it was parade a long is even week. worse. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Oh, re really? <laughs> I've actually, it's been weird because the for two weeks I've been pretty much break neck and then the rain comes in and I'm sitting around going, what could I be doing? What could I be right. doing? I got to catch up with YouTube. Oh my God, I've missed so much YouTube. Uh, well, not if you work tomorrow. That's the problem. Weekends aren't the end of anything anymore. That's true. Just a continuation. So are we going to work on the deck or are we getting some dirt? As you decide. Because the grass is growing, and weeds are growing. I didn't think it was an either or. Maybe we could do both. At this stage, there's not much you can help me with on the deck. Yeah, okay. I'll shovel dirt around. I got to undo the screws and pull out, and then flip them over and router the we other need side. need a tamper, so we can tamper it down. I got a tamper. Good, we'll tamper it down. And if you keep pushing me, I'll have a temper, too. Sorry, <laughs> but I suppose we. I just need a a new router and a and the okay. the new router bit. I've got okay. all kinds of router bits. I just need. Oh, why don't we just pick up a crap ton of dirt too while we're there? Okay, you want to buy a I bunch mean, of? I would really rather get it dropped off, but. Well, if you want to call and get it dropped off, we can do that. I'm fine with that. Just so I think did it's you want to take the smallest lot. they do is a yard. Did you want a I yard? I think it's going to be more than a yard. We, you think still more than a yard? I thought we had how many yards last time? We did one yard. We absolutely could have had two. Well, I'm thinking two because we turned around we and bought a bunch tap, of. Yeah, we did. So I think if we tap it down, we're going to have two because you know you watched Kyan trip over the driveway yesterday. Well, I mean, the problem is, where are they going to dump it? Where are they going to dump it? Dump it on top of the pile, or dirt pile out there. Yeah, that just means it's going to be another whole year before I can grow grass there. No, we're going to get it all off. I just think we're two gonna yards is it. too much. I think we're going to seed it all. I just think two yards might be too much. We have too much. We'll give it to Lenny. Yeah, they're just going to throw yeah, it in wow. their trunk. Yeah, I know. I just think one more yard should be enough. But call them up and get it delivered. Have you ever seen Death Parade? I've never heard of Death Parade, to be honest. Um, uh, it's... It, we have had some very warm temperatures. We've had all four seasons this we week. We have, for sure. Um, it's going to be a cool weekend. Last um, week we had freezing rain, pellets, and then we had... It got up to 80 on Sunday uh, when I started the... Uh, heavy work on the deck so yeah we're it was 83 84 well, like 15 degrees celsius for a high and then today so but it's gonna warm up so it's be 80 next week from sunday but more rain with rain yeah so we've cooled down we're going up uh if anyone is looking for a miracle and big boy search facebook marketplace near milwaukee not mine um yeah i well i I think I get ads for that um, on Marketplace. But we, yeah, we've been up and down. Like, we had 84. We had several very pretty days. I mean, the first three videos I did about my deck were pretty days, especially in the morning. It was nice to work, but boy, did that temperature shoot up quickly. And... Mm, okay. um, and Ooh, then right suddenly now. it's just cold and rain, and then it was warm, and I got to work again. And then it was thunderstorm, so I didn't work. Yesterday actually was better than they said it was going to be. It was supposed to be a pretty rainy day, but we wound up it wound it up clearing. It was supposed to rain, but it was supposed to be mostly cloudy, and it was sunny. And it was sunny. There were almost no clouds out there. But we, um, are you yawning? Oh my God, John Ricard says I put him to sleep. CMD came in and said I put him to sleep, and now you're, 
I came tired. There's nothing to do with you. Oh, that has something to do with me later. Oh, I really wanted that train, Ian. I really... I didn't even know they were making it. They announced it and sold out of it before I was aware it existed. Oh, there's Jean Ricard. Is he here? People are saying hi to him, but I don't think he's here. Okay, maybe somebody's just saying hi. Yes, everybody hopefully has a good weekend. Yeah. I still need you to do some singing on top of working in the yard. Ooh. I just really think we need a couple of bags of topsoil for that dead area, maybe three. And then where else are you going to put it? So I would say by one to, yard. We still have to go, and we didn't put anything on this side of the driveway. We still have to go on their side and our side. There's quite a dip down. You better go out and look at it. Hmm. John McCart said he was going to have a long day today and probably be asleep during the live stream. Okay. Well, we won't wake him All up right. then. All right, well, I mean, you watch two yards later. is going to be a massive pile, and I don't want to move it. Got a wheelbarrow. And shovels, yes, I'm aware of that. But if you remember how hard that was to move and load up and even with all that stuff last year. Well, all right, get two yards. Order two yards and have them dump it in my yard. All right, good night, Eric. Thanks for coming good in. All right, Eric. You take care of yourself. When's our next vacation? Hey. Um, we are going to Australia for three weeks at the end of May to visit Artie. Yep. So if we don't come back, you know what happened. Yeah. Hmm. We're going. Uh, we're going to Australia. Then we're going to go to Getz in the That's UK. The and then next year is uh, Germany mm -hmm. and Denmark, and then we'll see what else we can hit while we're in Germany. Because the way it's planned right now, because I'm already planning our 2025 trip, is we'll arrive in Frankfurt, we're going to Aachen, and then from Aachen we're going up to Hamburg, from Hamburg just for a couple of days, because I, I always go to Miniature Wonderland. All right, take care, Ray. Ray. Good for you to be at the helm. Have a good dinner. All right, buddy, yep. All right, take care. Take care. Awesome job. Already, Handled it like a yeah, pro. She sure did. Already funny. That's he and Ray really got along, I thought. Yep. Looked like it at least. Artie's funny. And we're not just talking the smell. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so from Aachen, and then we're going to go up to Denmark because uh, we have a Dane we have to beat Dane up. Dane needs to We've got to a Dane we got to beat up. <laughs> and then we have, uh, we're coming, we're taking a ferry out of Aarhus and going down to Rostock. And that's where we're going to end the trip. I'm going to spend a few days in Rostock and check out some of the Baltic Sea area. I want to go to the town of Schwerin. And then we're going to go over the border from Rostock to uh, the former German city, now Polish city, called Stettin in German, Zechin in Polish. Uh, because my grandmother Dodge was born there. Mm hmm course she wasn't Dodge when she was born there. Right. She was Bogata. Bogata. <laughs> good night, good night. The stars are shining bright. Okay. Six thirty tomorrow at the state place. So maybe you didn't want to go. At the steak place? Um, yeah, I mean. 
Same one we went to before. The Outback, I think. Why did you say I might not want to go? Worried about getting back in time for Artie. Oh. That's why. I'm not that worried. Oh, okay, good. We'll be fine. Okay, good. I'm glad you I was ready to go on Saturday and he canceled out on me. I'm glad you said that. I was. Or worried. I might. We can go in separate cars and I'll leave early. Now, family first, you know that. Yeah. Usually. Your family. My family? Hell no. Dinner tonight is whatever we decide in the car while we're on the road. Because yeah, as soon as we driving. click this off, we're hopping in the car and going to the hardware get store. Get more stuff. Get more stuff. Yes, you heard us arguing over whether we're going to get uh, topsoil or not. I guess we've decided you're going to have two yards delivered. I guess you have decided that we are getting two yards. Uh, I still think two yards I is too much. I want you to look at it before we order. I have looked at it. And okay. I think we have an issue where a yard's too much and two yards too little. Ruh row. Fredo's having problems, huh? And we watched your last one and he Oh didn't yeah, I didn't well. comment on it, but I did catch it. Yeah, Fredo after yeah. a hot streak struggled. I wondered if he accidentally had the settings on the trial runs again. Because yeah, he just wasn't going. Did he crash? Did he burn? Did he crash and burn? Steve says get a yard and a half. Well, the problem is the place that delivers the topsoil doesn't do yard and a half. Doesn't it's whole yards, half, so. one yard or two yards. That's why I tried to talk her into one yard and then a bunch of bags. But we did that last year and it wasn't enough. The problem is... wasn't even close to enough, really. So okay. we'll get two yards and we'll find some place. The problem is, I guess we should have done this before I built the deck because we could have taken the, the, the extras and thrown it under the deck. You don't want to throw dirt under there. Uh-oh, you're getting a circle of death? Everything looks good over here. Everything's looking good on our side. Yeah, we have Domino's Pizza in Toledo. They just don't deliver. They they end their delivery at, up the road from our house. I used to love Domino's when they first came out, and then they left, and now they're back. Yeah, they're not quite close enough. We'd have to pick it up. Louis safety rules for electricity. Uh huh. Took the equivalent of an entire class period. It should have taken 15 minutes. At most. But what if? Oh, good heavens. Is that what most it of them were? It just went on and on. Uh, no. And just questions, no My stories. My mom encourages me to stick forks in no the outlets. No stories. Oh, we did talk about sticking forks in the outlets and why that was a really bad idea. You'll mail us a Schweinbraten. Um. Might not be in the best shape by the time I we get here. I was going to say, they get a little stale from here to there. I think uh, we'll just have to arrange I miss near you. German and Austrian. Oh, I had so much fun just eating in Germany last trip. I was in Vienna. We had actual Wiener schnitzel. And then we got to go to Zacher. Yeah. We just had, it was just good stuff all mm, around. Sure was. So, did you figure out the basic theme today? Well, I see. You have fast trains on, I guess. Yeah, except, I sees and ECs. Except for your... Uh, except for the freighter. Freighter. The freighter. Freighter. Not to be used with a fritter or a Fredo. <laughs> well, you got that right. Uh-oh. Roll, roll. What has happened? I 
I didn't touch anything. No, Why did it go to stop? It was. It suddenly was in stop. It wasn't even a short. Okay. Oh, that was weird. Did my Everybody seems to be in the right place. No Nobody's... warning came up. Nothing. It just stopped. Like bump. Now what's <laughs> odd is are done. is this thing shut off. Okay. This shut off, but that shouldn't have affected anything. Yeah, right. But that was time. That went off and then this stopped. It gotcha. just randomly stopped. Yeah, uh, ghost in the machine. Yee, ghost in the machine. Like, sounds like the police. Oh, it was their album. Yeah. It was also uh, uh, manga uh, and anime. Uh, well, actually, the manga was uh, Ghost in a Shell, wasn't it? We are spirit in the material world. Our spirit. In the material world of Chinese hackers. <laughs> More likely Russian, but that could be political, I suppose. Uh, either way. Yeah. Both are up to no good. Mm hmm Zap is just weird. I wonder why Zap happened. Back to looking chips. This is sounding more like your pickle hobble guy, but relaxed. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never really sat down and decided. It, it's just Ooh, it's the usual voice. <laughs> Ooh, it's Liverpool still on to win the league. Oh, you are packing up. Bye, oh, bye, no. Anthony. Oh, no. No, they're not. Oh, Liverpool will not no win the doubt, league. Monsville. I mean, I suppose they, 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 they don't have. I mean, God, they got beat out of the Europa League the other night and looked pathetic. And that's always been my beef with Jurgen Klopp, is his team is amazing. He's got all this talent, but they are consistently riddled by injuries to key players. But he. He never seems to motivate them to play the... Like, I mean, they lost to Crystal Palace in a game. How do you freaking lose to Crystal Palace when you're Liverpool? And I know Crystal Palace is a decent team this year. Mm. But that... Arsenal beat Crystal Palace like five zip just a little while ago. And Liverpool can't beat them at home. They just, he's never been able to get them motivated to play the right games. And it's weird because uh, this is his eighth year and, of course, he's leaving. And I'm mm. not sad to see him go. Yeah. I'm grateful for the success he's had there. They've had their most successful period since uh, the early years of uh, Benitez. But when it when it comes down to it, eight years, one Premier League title. Chelsea's had three in the same period. Man City's had three in the same period. And now Arsenal's going to win it. Um, one Champions League title. And then they did so bad last year, they dropped out of the Europa League. Or they got dropped down to the Europa League. Uh, and he's had so many ties. Um, against teams that he has no business tying. Oh, hi, Sean. Well, there's Sean Ricard. Good morning. <laughs> and an Arsenal fan speaks up. We're at? Yay, Arsenal. Andy, 81. Ah, uh, yay, Arsenal. Yeah, my daughter's already laughed at me. Because she's Football an Arsenal is fan. An only it's connected now. What is going on? You've got mechanical gremlins. It did this earlier. Okay. And boom, connecting. So everybody's going to have a circle of okay, death for a couple of seconds. Okay, you'll have a brief circle of death. Well, this broadcast will be briefly interrupted while we resort. Like, you just blinked. That's all you did. No, it circled. Oh, did it circle? So well, anyway, that was, uh, that was us this time. Yeah, well, you know AT&T is working in the area yes, and apparently are. has been the last couple of weeks. Hmm, might explain a couple of things. Right. 
Hey, uh, we're just going to mess with your local internet while we're up here on the pole. They're not on the pole. They're digging underground. That's true. They're digging underground. Everybody should be an Arsenal fan. Huh? It wouldn't be any fun if everybody was an See, Arsenal the fan. The only team, the only teams I dislike. See, I even grudgingly respected Man United, especially with Sir Alan Ferguson. And Arsenal was stuck with Arsene Wenger for so long, who was a good coach, but he, he also liked Klopp. Just could not win many, you know, he won a couple of titles, I think, uh, league titles with uh, Arsenal, but, and a couple of trophies elsewhere, but his team was always that close, but couldn't do it. And that's been Klopp's story at Liverpool. I don't know what all they're going to do. I mean, some people are starting to yell at Mo Salah. The dude got severely injured and came back weeks before he should have, and he's trying to help the team win. Because Klopp likes to spend ten million on forwards and then have a bunch of loser midfielders mm -hmm. that can't move the ball forward to the forwards. He's got all these great forwards. He's got six forwards that would be starting on any other team in the world, but three of them have to sit the bench on any given game. But then he's got no midfielders who can do a damn thing. And then any young, promising guy that looks like he might develop into something, uh, we'll just loan them out because I'm going to bring in this guy. But that's... <laughs> that's football. <football. laughs> Take off the armor. I don't know. Do you suppose he's into trains? He probably doesn't have enough time to be into trains. Yeah, for sure. I'm yeah, not singing the next line, soon. Andy. <laughs> so what song can I talk into singing? Not today. At all? You lost me. So we could do Betty Davis Eyes. The last... Last time we did a Friday night, it was bad. You could do, Betty. You need to rest. Oh, what? Um, you could do, um, I need a hero. <laughs> I need a hero. Eh. Total Eclipse of the Heart? Yes, I am very thrilled Bayern München got beat down. Yes. They actually started really bad. They had they got whooped a few times early in the season, then got hot, but they were too far behind by the time they got the things I righted. Annie Tyler is a good Welsh girl. <laughs> well, Paul, I have played rugby and I've played football. And you know what? When the guys are wearing the helmets and the pads, they hit a lot harder than the guys in rugby, but you feel it less because you're also wearing all the pads and helmets. But yes, rugby hits hard, but football, because they think the guys in padding, they hit because you subconsciously do hit guys, but you don't hit them as hard. When I played tackle football with my friends, American style football with my friends, uh, we hit each other hard, but there's a part of you is like, I don't want to kill this guy. When you are wearing the helmet and the... You're thinking I'm going to kill this guy. Huh. The Railjet uh, is taking uh, the week off. He shall return next week along with his Czech cousin. All right, good night, Monsville. Good night, Monsville. Take care. Packing up's oh, not easy. Oh, yeah. That's tough moving. 
Yeah, hi, Jean Ricard. We said hi. Yeah, hi, Jean again. Wake up again? Or maybe you just woke up and didn't remember waking up the last <laughs> it time. Could be. But still, it's rough. You're on very late for him and. Poor little Danish guy. Who knows? We're not getting younger. No, no, we're not getting younger, but somebody's not getting older. Oh, I feel like I'm getting older. You may feel it on the inside, just not happening on the outside, which is fine. <laughs> you still pull off the college co-ed well. Oh, wait, I said that out loud. I shouldn't have. Even that, you know, falling asleep in class. Yep, just like the old days. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah, miles the, away. the biggest disappointment was yeah. we was were, cool. when, when the solar eclipse hits total, you don't need the special visors. You can look at it with normal. And it was so cool. You had just the diamond ring, as it's called, and the moon. And then you try to take a video of it, and the video, because our camera didn't have filter, just looks like a fiery donut. <laughs> oh, it was uh, still. It was. It was hard to describe why it was cool. But because it was. it's an astronomical event that the last time it uh, occurred at that level. Right. My great 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 grandfather was a baby. Uh huh. And they were scared of it. Because they didn't know it was coming. Oh, they weren't that scared. By that time, they understood. It's not like the... Uh -huh. Right. And, and we can't even say that because you had morons in the United States going, Oh, this is going to be the rapture! The rapture's going to happen. Yeah. This is the alignment of the stars and I shall be taken up to heaven. Morons. I keep waiting for the rapture because it would get rid of the idiots. Yes, it would. I think this would improve things greatly. It's oh, we too didn't say that. Oh, my goodness. Maybe some of our friends want to be raptured here, but. But yes, we had a very large segment that thought somehow just it was. something bad was going to happen. I was like, you know, it really is just the moon going in front of the sun. It's not like it's going to change anything. Because cool. we've had partial eclipses, and they come in various forms of the year. But yeah, this is the first time since 1806 that Toledo was in the zone for a total eclipse yep and, and even then the very very northern suburbs of toledo were right. outside the zone just barely but yeah just barely we were on the edge they of didn't it. quite get totality but on the south side mm -hmm. we were in the totality zone now again yeah. if we were uh, 80 miles 100 miles south we would have seen the totality longer and yeah, perhaps even four minutes, more impressively yeah. we had about two minutes and uh Two minutes, 15 seconds of totality. Oh, 15 miles south of us, they were at four. And it tells you how far away AJ is. He was on the other side of it. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing, Chris. <laughs> the last one in 94. He was the last one in 94. Everybody else got raptured. <laughs> Everybody else disappeared and poor Andy stand in their life. <laughs> poor Andy. Ah, well. <laughs> Yes, I didn't make the call. <laughs> oh, I know. Yes, yes, we have heard that many times, Steve. Like, every time there was a, a rapture date yeah. pre predicted by one of the psychic phenomenon people, uh, there the joke goes around, we should just get a bunch of blow-up dolls yeah. and have it happen. That was the show Sunny in Philadelphia. I don't was not well i didn't watch it except it came on one day and that's how it started was with some guy driving a uh um a lorry with all these dolls in the back and something happened to open it up and so you had all these blow up dolls floating way up and there were accidents all over as people were slamming on their brakes getting out of the cars jesus take me I was on the, the the floor laughing so hard. It was hilarious. And what a trip it would be. But you would have to do that somewhere very crowded. That's my thought. I just want to be around. I just want to see the disappointed people. Uh-huh. 
I just went, why am I not going? <laughs> Jesus. Because maybe you're not as good as you thought you were. <laughs> yeah, that HST has just been flying around like there was no tomorrow. Oh, yeah, the whole 2012 thing. Well, there was 2,000, you know, I mean, not even forget the Y2K stuff. People are talking about 2,000 was going to be a big event because it was the year 2000. Oh, yeah, that was the, uh, whose calendar was ending? The Mayan calendar. It was Mayans, okay. The Mayan calendar was ending. And I uh, love the jokes. The Mayan guy going, <laughs> I can only do the calendar until 2012. Well, <laughs> yeah. oh, who cares? That's 2,000 years from That's now. That's way it's, ahead. Who's yeah. worried about it? We'll catch up later. And then their civilization fell. You know? Yeah, it did. Was, hey, the Mayan calendar ends in 2012. The <laughs> world's going dead. Oh, that's... Yeah. The world's going dead now. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know. All right. Super. All right. So, anyhow, we are preparing to wrap it up here. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Ooh, oh my can God. We get, I, was, I was doing rap. Can we get Anthony Adam up a Ant. few more likes if you could? He's only gained about three since I've been here. Daisy. Daisy gave you a like. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. I like Daisy. <laughs> I like Daisy. <laughs> you know it. That's why I write her so well. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's all those 17 year old fantasies coming out. Wouldn't it be cool if a woman said this? <laughs> all right. So anyhow, uh, uh, we got to head off to the store. So yeah. we want to thank all of you once again for coming this time. And remember, the world's going to end. So there won't be a show next <laughs> Friday. Probably not. Joyce and I shall be watching I, the rest of you get raptured. Yeah, while we're just some stuck of you on get Earth. raptured. It won't be us. And we're good with that. So. <laughs> we'll just be moving into your homes. And... It could be. <laughs> Hey, Liz, here's a place for you for free. <laughs> Take the cats with you. <laughs> the fire and brimstone falling out of the sky won't yeah. be a problem. We'll be in the basement. That's all right. Yeah. Um, anyhow, <laughs> we wanna, we're going to piss off somebody <laughs> here. Probably, we're bound and determined to piss off somebody, somebody before this live stream ends. <laughs> we got to get that third dislike going. <laughs> But anyhow, oh, so man. we want to thank you all for joining us again Always. every Friday. Can't believe that people actually come and sit in on this why madness. Do you, why do you guys come back? Well, I have a couple of <laughs> ideas, but that's oh, a different story. Oh, that's not it's just that, not That'd me. be if we, were, we had like five people until five o'clock, and then you walk in, and I was good. <laughs> that was the case. They wouldn't come until five. Did you hear Joyce was dressed as a French maid? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get 10,000 viewers next show. Oh, my God. A dislike? Did you get a dislike? Oh, every now and then my live streams get dislikes, mm. yeah. Yeah, it's occasionally. I got a couple of fans. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> probably One of those my, fans. <laughs> probably somebody in my family. It could be. It absolutely Dad, could be. Dad, you embarrassed me. Oh, I don't think it would be that family. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, so on behalf of the one and only, because you are the reason she teaches, because yeah. you're all stupid. No, um. You are the reason I love to teach. Yeah. You're the reason I like to stay after school. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Stop it. All right. So, anyhow, on behalf of um, Joyce and me, uh, we're going to say Avita Zane Choo. and happy trains. Take care, everybody. Bye. We'll see you.